listen, all right? I know my Mr. Beast video's out. I've seen it. It's a W video, right? It's the first video that I'm going to eventually react to that I've seen the entire video already, right? It's like eight minutes, nine minutes. I can't react to it until they stop selling the bars with the QR codes, okay? So for you to watch me react to my Mr. Beast video, you need to wait like a month, all right? Because I'm not allowed to react to it until they stop selling the bars, right? Because that would just defeat the purpose of buying the bars to see the video. We're going to react to the Mr. Beast video that came out yesterday right now, but I can't react to my video for a month. Okay, chat? Does that make sense? I'm not explaining that for the rest of the day. If somebody comes in the stream in an hour and they ask, it is chat's responsibility to tell them what the fuck is up, okay? Because yesterday I said it like 35 fucking times, right? Because people come in in 20 minutes and spam, your Mr. Beast videos on the back of Vistable's bars. Here's the link. Here's the link. Oh my God, watch it. I can't, right? I've seen it myself. I think the video's dope. They left out a lot of funny shit though, right? Which we'll talk about when I can react to it. Okay, but I can't react to it right now. Does that make sense? Also, my voice is gone, as you can tell, from screaming yesterday and from being sick and from screaming the day before. So I'm chewing on cough drops probably the entire stream. Okay, lucky for the 300 buddies. I don't see your vid on Mr. Beast's channel. Lucky, this is for you, right? I'm going to look right at the camera for you, man. All right. Use your ears, the things on the side of your head. You know the holes in the side of your fucking head that, like, pick up sound emissions and wave air waves to where you can understand what the fuck I'm saying right now? It's not on his channel. It will never be on his channel, right? You have to get a Feastables bar and buy the bar and then you can see the video by using the QR code, okay? I'm going to react to the video on stream when they stop doing that. But the video will never, never, N-E-V-E-R, not, N-O-T, be on his channel, okay? Does that make sense? Do you understand now? Thank you. Pooper for the sub, Twinkie for the three but he's my grandpa's dying, and I so I put G Fuel in his IV. I'm not sponsored by G Fuel anymore. Ted for the three inch I'm happy I got three girlfriends. I'm going on a date with one today. Dub. Uh, I'm getting a sponsor with another energy company soon. Uh, Arsenal in the midst of working out contracts. Uh, no, we didn't end on bad terms, but I'm not with G Fuel anymore. That's why there's like four cans in the fridge. Arsenal for the five inch uh, Got uh, a Mr. Beast bar last night. Watch your video. It was funny as fuck. Dub. They left out so many funny things, though. I'll talk about that when I react to it. But, like, they left out a lot. Bump, but that's Mr. Beast, right? You have to shorten the video. Bump is T-Fusion, Noob, uh, Unlimited, Mr. Saturn, Ordinary, Grady, Gladiator, and Emmy for the sub. Uh, and Lucky for the three of buddies. Your video's on the back of Mr. Beast Feastables bars. Did you know that? Uh, just shut up. Just shut up. All right. Are y'all ready to watch the fucking video? Are y'all ready to get into the goddamn React Day? We're live early today, by the way, because uh, I have some shit I got to do later. Uh, and so this is going to be a bit of a shorter stream as well, but I wanted to go live nevertheless because I don't like missing days. Um, but this will still be like at least a three hour stream. Uh, hence why we have these videos ready. First video of the day, one, one dollar versus one billion dollar yacht. Woman gets caught trying to steal $800 worth of makeup. I investigated the world's largest slum, a Tyler Oliveira video, ear pulling contest, the button that makes your bad date disappear. What new army cadets go through their first six weeks at West Point? This is an army video that we have not seen yet, actually. Uh, and three creepy true supermarket horror stories. Does that sound good, chat? Mar for the sub, Cliffy for the three. What's your workout routine? Uh, not going to go through my entire workout routine, but my first day is back, biceps, abs. Day two is chest, triceps, shoulders. Day three is legs, abs. And then day four is rest. Day five is repeat. Uh, I'm not going to spend an hour going through every fucking workout I go through in the rep scheme I do. Frosty for the five gifteds. Thank you for the five gifteds, Frosty. Appreciate the fucking subs. Thank Frosty Nips if you got a sub. Thank you for the five gifteds. Cliffy for the three hundred biddies. Uh, and yesterday, did y'all have fun watching yesterday's stream where we switched games every time I lost? I thought that was fun as fuck. 
Uh, it did make me lose my voice way more than normal, though, because uh, I was getting pretty agitated. And I lost $50 to my fucking chat. Well, I made 25 back. I basically gave $25 to Twitch and then lost money on taxes because <laughs> I gifted myself money to play Wii, Wii Golf or Switch Sports Golf one more time. And then I still fucking lost. Frosty for the uh, the gifted subs. Larry for the three inch buddy. He's got a tattoo of a lionfish in my hand. Done. Joel for the three inch buddies. All right. Let's lock into the video here. Normally, we watch videos uh, for Mr. Beast when they come out. Uh, but yesterday was like a planned stream. Uh, so I didn't watch the Mr. Beast video when it came out yesterday. So we're going to watch it today. Lock in chat. This is a one. That is loud. Is that really gold plated? Billion dollar super yacht. And it's big enough to hold an entire city on the water. How do humans build this stuff? And I'm gonna show you the difference between this and a $300 million mega yacht, a $50 million giga yacht, all the way down to this $1 yacht. Why that did is you- not $1. That is not, I, well, oh, it's cause it's fucking, it's cause it's fucking beached. You can't move it, it's broken. <laughs> But, like, if that was a real boat in the water and it worked, how much would that be, chat? I don't know. I, like, I feel like boats are always overpriced. Like, I would assume, like, 30 grand, but this is probably, like, a $100,000 yacht. Not a yacht, but it's a $100,000 boat. You sell me this boat for a dollar. The storage is just keep racking up. $18, yeah. $18,000. It's so. cost you 18 grand a year to store this? Correct. Interesting. There you go. Thank you. And Why how would he pay 18 k a year to store that fucking beached ass boat? Interesting. There you go. Thank you. And after stepping on board, it was pretty clear why this yacht- Oh, it actually floats? Only cost one dollar. Okay, now that we're on the water. What are we working with in here? I don't think the- Oh, no, it doesn't float. It's sinking. <laughs> It is filling with water pretty rapidly. One dollar. Okay, now that we're on the water. What are we working with in here? I don't think- Oh my god. Dude, they should start pailing water out. Try to get to a fucking area before it sinks. What are we working with in here? I don't think- Oh, you got a free hat on the board, though. That's nice. They get a free hat. What are we working with in here? I don't think the floor is supposed to do that. I don't know if this is even worth a dollar. Oh, we're actually sinking. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that actually, like, pretty dangerous, too? Like, they could get sucked under. I mean, that's probably a really big boat. This is, like, a 20-foot boat. The boat literally started sinking right when we put it in the water. We gotta go up. We're sinking. I've always wanted to experience what a sinking in a boat felt like without the actual fear of dying. Because I think it would be pretty fun to try and prevent its sinking as long as possible. Like, imagine you and, like, five of your friends, just, like, with a bucket, just pailing water. Like, one guy's paddling. Everybody else is just pailing water out of the boat. You're fucking panicking, trying to, tr trying to get to shore before it fucking sinks. Oh, we're sinking! Jump, Chandler! I would have stayed on that longer. That was the one dollar yacht. Later in this oh, video, there goes the GoPro. We have a fifty million dollar yacht, a three hundred million dollar yacht, and the one billion dollar super yacht. But before all that, here's the one million. Also, the amount of GoPros Mr. Beast has is like absurd. When I was in the burger video, I'll talk about it more in reactions. But like, they have no lie, a hundred to like two hundred different like attachable cameras that they'll just set up and half of them they won't even use which is a little smaller than i thought Wait, it they be. won't use footage from them hop on boys all right that's a million dollars yeah boats are pretty expensive it would be hop. like would i rather would y'all rather have that or a million dollar car because like uh the upkeep of a boat is the biggest pain in the ass ever like, if you have a million-dollar car, you just put it in your garage. This, you have to get it, like, cleaned. And when you take it out, it's, like, a fucking four-hour thing to, like, get it back. And then you have to clean it and refuel it and check everything. And there's so much maintenance. A $1 million yacht, which is a little smaller. And the gas in a boat 
Like, that thing going, like, 50 miles costs so much money. Than I thought it would be. Hop on, boys. All right. Let's see the inside. On the $1 million yacht, you get a surprisingly big living room, a lower deck with a master bedroom, another bedroom that I can't stand up in, and then you got some double Y'all beds. Y'all ever get seasick before? If you've ever been on a boat, like, offshore? I would actually say, like, Top three most on it. Like, it's worse than a stomach virus. Like, a stomach virus, you just feel like shit. You throw up and you feel better at least for, like, five minutes, right? Like, a stomach virus, oh, it's building, it's building. You feel like shit. You vomit. You feel good. And then an hour later, you vomit. When you're seasick and you're on a boat that's just, like, rocking, you just keep throwing up. Like, it doesn't get better. Because you're still just rocking. Like, you're never in a, a, a clear moment where you're going to feel fine. For the kids. Wait, you have kids? Chris, Chandler, Carl, Nolan. Don't worry, boys. I got this. Break, break. Please stop. Someone's going to send a rescue boat. We need the Coast Guard. I wonder if I turn this, if he'll fall. Stop. <laughs> this is fun. Oh. Ah. For a million dollar boat, I'm not going to. Chris falls off the boat and gets killed by the rotor. That would be a bad Mr. Beast video. It's a little smaller than I thought. Let's see if these guys... Jesus Christ. Right here, right here, Chris whips it. Jimmy falls off. His leg gets cut by the rotor. You guys watch our videos. Oh my God, it's Mr. Beast. Hey. It's Christina. Is their name Christina now? I'm pretty sure it's still Chris. I don't think Chris changed their name. He has seen our channel. That's pretty funny. So now we're going to the $10 million one. $10 million. See ya. It's going to be Bye. great. Bye. Oh my god, he's fast. <laughs> and now we are on the $10 million yacht. They did change their name? I don't think they did. Let's check this yeah, out. still Chris. Holy crap. Chris ruins the videos now. Oh my god. Fucking, like, dude. <laughs> Chris ruins the video now. How? <laughs> like, yo, I'm not gonna get into an argument right now. I'm really not, right? But, like, Chris is still the same fucking person, bro. They're still the same fucking person. It's just all they, they just look different. They just look different. How, it, like, so like, that's the issue for you. Like their personality is still the same. Cause it's fucking Chris. It's still Chris. They just identify differently. They look different. That's it. So the front oh, of shit. I'm not showing the screen. The boat's huge. This is way. Right, this is the $10 million one. I didn't even get to see it. Cause I was fucking reading that. Million. This looks like one of those GTA boats with missiles on it. See ya. It's gonna be Bye. great. Oh my god, he's fast. <laughs> and now we are on the ten million dollar yacht. Let's check this out. Holy crap! The front of the boat's huge. This is way bigger than the last one. Uh, Look at the view. I'm getting some good sun here. I'm really pale. Oh my gosh! Yes, this is a nice. Oh yeah, no, Chris really ruined it right there. Even though Chris basically said the same thing they would always say. Oh, yeah, no, Chris really ruined the video right there. Oh, my God, I can't watch. Oh, my God, my eyes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Chris is wearing makeup. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like, dude, relax. Bedroom. For $9 million more, I can actually stand up. And right down these stairs are four more massive bedrooms. Why are there two toilets side by side? Oh, that's a bidet, Jim. For your butt? You put Somebody me here. just said I'm transphobic. Oh, shocker. <laughs> Seeing that you hate Chris now. And yeah. you wash your butt in here. Why don't you just use toilet paper? You're so American. And upstairs is another seating area. Oh my gosh. The seats on the $1 million yacht were leather and hot. These are actually soft. Soft and practical. This boat is the nicest boat I've been on. So. Like how many people, like I, 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 even at the 10 million level, it's too big for how many friends that I have. Somebody said Joe's brainwashed. Oh, my God. Um, no, but could you guys invite enough people out of your own friend group to fill this yacht? Not the 100 million, the 50 million, the billion. Yes, bro, this yacht fits like 50 people. Like, do you have 50 close friends? Joe has been brainwashed. Yo, facts. Yo, facts. The liberal media has brainwashed me since I was a child. 
I have no I have no free will of my own. My beliefs are not of my own. They're of the liberal media and PBS kids. Because those two things I grew up on. That's my personality, the liberal media. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, chat. Relax. I don't care if you're conservative. I'm saying Chris doesn't ruin the videos now, bro. Fucking think. It's the same fucking person, the same personality. Chris just identifies differently. It doesn't change anything. You're letting you're letting yourself get mad about it. Just don't give a fuck and who cares? So far. Well, just wait until you see the next like, one. Like I it's just so annoying. Like can we just watch the Mr. Beast video? And I know motherfuckers say like, "Oh, like Joe's making a big deal about it. I'm not. I wouldn't have said anything. I wouldn't have said anything about it, right? Because I don't care. It's Chris's life. They can do whatever the fuck they want with their life, dude. The only reason I'm bringing it up is because motherfuckers in my chat fucking bitch and moan instead of just watching the fucking video, dude. Just watch the video. Why do you have to fucking sit there and complain? And make everything some fucking big moral shebang. And fucking make yourself butt hurt all the fucking time. Like, I know I'm an angry person. But I get angry about stupid shit on purpose. Or you guys just piss me off. You're just sitting there letting yourself get agitated for no reason. Just watch the video. Just shut up and watch the video. Like, you're watching a video about yachts. Chris pops up on camera. <laughs> Like, you're, you're literally being a fucking weenie hut junior. It's Al Joe, leave the stream, dude. Don't care. Massive. And because it's so massive, I invited all my friends. Go have fun. Go, go, like, go. we can't even watch the video right now because people are complaining. Can we type locked in chat? Can we just watch the video, bro? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. Just anything, anything political, anything ever is... I just spilled water on myself is brought up, bro. Oh my god. Like, I don't care if you disagree with me politically, but like, this isn't even politics, bro. It's a Mr. Beast video. It is a Mr. Beast video. We're watching a Mr. Beast video about yachts, chat. About yachts. About yachts. And then like, 50 motherfuckers just start bitching about Chris. Figure it the fuck out. Just watch the video, bro. My god. This boat is the nicest boat I've been on so far. Well, just wait until you see the next one. It's the nicest boat I've ever been on is probably less than the million one. Like, that million one was already massive. Fit 25, 50, 300, one billion dollar yacht. Who would own this? It's a cruise ship. It's massive. And because it's so massive, I invited all my friends to go have fun. The go Minecraft Squad! The Minecraft squad, the Minecraft gamers. Yo, Jimmy, invite me, bro. Yo, on God, Jimmy, I was in your burger video, you know. I'm not trying to say we're homies or anything, but like, you know, you know, if you invited me to the yacht, you know, I would I would take a few days off stream. You know, I would pop out to the yacht. You know, Jimmy, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, you know, if you wanted to invite me, you know, even though you technically didn't invite me to the video and I had to like go through other people, you know, technically speaking, Jimmy. Like, yeah, you uh, you yourself didn't say, Joe, come out to the burger video. But, like, you know, if you did want to invite me, I would I would accept that invite, Jimmy. Go, go! Dude, I remember I made a TikTok one time where I called him Jimmy. And motherfuckers were like, what, what the hell are you calling Mr. Beast Jimmy for? You think you know him? And I'm like, dude, who gives a shit? It's his actual name. I'm not allowed to. What is it? What is it, a crime to call Mr. Beast Jimmy? I'm not allowed to call him by his actual fucking name. This most Jimmy, Mr. Beast. That's his name, Jimmy Donaldson. It's meant to hold 150 people. They're going to have a lot of fun. Whoa. 150 people on a $25 million yacht. Dude, I don't think I know 150 people I would invite. Oh my God. This is wild. What is the difference between this and a mansion? This is a mansion. When does it stop? Jimmy, I'm still going. This is definitely the nicest bedroom we've seen so far. And it's nice because my head doesn't hit the ceiling. I can barely touch it now. This yacht has a living room, an office, a massage. Is he just Naruto running? 
when does it stop? Jimmy, I'm still going. This is definitely the nicest bedroom we've seen so far. And it's nice because my head doesn't hit the ceiling. I can barely touch it now. This yacht has a living... Yeah, I will, I will give a quick L, George not found for that. Bro, just, bro, just Naruto run, like, or ran, like, five feet. Room, an office, a massage. Oh, my God. Dude, the people that actually think that makes them quicker in running, it's astonishing to me. Like, you're not faster. In no way would that physically make any sense. Putting your head down and your arms behind your back and sprinting. Parlor, two dining rooms, and seven bedrooms. This is on a $25 million yacht. Best yacht I've been on so far. I'm Dab! Dab! Driving the boat. <gasps> Chocolate! It's not feasible. It's not feasible! Thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. No way! You gotta... No! That is a dope bedroom, though. Wake up, you get all the fucking windows there. See the water? Oh my god. Oh. Hey, buddy. Are you relaxed? Yeah, I was. Are you done with your massage yet? Here you go, take a bite. <laughs> so we got all the goon squads in here. So a $25 million boat with 30 rooms. Who is that guy? Who is this? Damn, George's, George's gripper is looking a little bit dirty there. I'm taking my damn socks off if I'm him. That's dream? That is not dream. That is not dream, chat. What? You think that's dream? You think that's dream? Bro, what? That looks like fucking... That looks like that guy that got mad when people would break his video games. McJugger Nuggets. That's Chris? That's not Chris. It's Airac's friend. Oh, it's Mac from Airac. It's in here. It's a $25 million boat with 30 rooms. Why are you guys in here? This bed is so <laughs> cool. Even though this yacht comes with a world-class chef, the boys still wanted pizza. So I planned a little surprise. Do you know what we're standing on, boys? A boat. Boat. Throw Carl off board. Throw Carl into the water. See if he can swim long enough. Hospital. An H. A boat. A helipad. An Uber conveniently does helicopter deliveries. What? what? And a little surprise. Do you know what we're standing on, boys? Uh, Uber does helicopter deliveries? A boat. A hospital. An H. A boat. A helipad. An Uber conveniently does helicopter. Oh my god, it's $2,000 for probably like a McDonald's fry. That's just gonna be fucking cold. A boat. A hospital. An H. A boat. A helipad. An Uber conveniently does helicopter deliveries. Some total two grand delivery fee, four hundred and fifty-six dollars. Bro got Pizza Hut. You can't out Pizza the Hut though. Am I right, Jimmy Donaldson? It's his name as Mr. Beast. His name as Mr. Beast. Am I right, Mr. Beast? Deliveries. That can't be real. Oh, it's real. Is that a helicopter? <laughs> Fifty-four items from Pizza Hut. What do you think he got? A pizza. Some cheesy bread. Maybe some garlic knots. Some wings. I feel like he, if he got 54 pizzas, that's nuts. Yo, y'all fuck with Hawaiian pizza. I ate Hawaiian pizza last night. They didn't have enough pineapple on it. I really couldn't even taste it. I only really tasted the ham. So it was kind of just like a ham pizza. But like Hawaiian pizza, it's like, it's not bad. I think it's underrated. CRC for the 300 bitties. I'm bored, so I wanted to send bets. Thank you for the 300 bitties. Face for the 1,000 bitties. Vin run for the sub. Dominator for the three. Donated over $120 uh, dollars in bets total. Dub. You should go on a cruise. I've never been on a cruise. Top Dominator and Joshua for the sub. Big fat for the 300 bitties. Love your channel. You always make me laugh. Uh, Ace for the sub. Luke for the 300 bitties. Dark for the 300 bitties. When are you playing Red Dead Redemption? Never. Uh, J Rock, Sue for the sub. Miss for the 300 bitties. Have you seen the new Spider Man movie? I have not. I heart for the sub. When did the new Spider Man come out? Sin for the three. Started watching you a year ago. You're the most entertaining person I watched. Dub, SSJ for the sub, Nendy for the 300 bitties. 
Chris sued somebody for making a video about them ruining Mr. Beast. Uh, that's a lie. That was a joke tweet. Uh, I don't know how you still believe that after like three months of it being proven false. TJ for the three minutes. Uh, I figured out uh, how to use Discord. Thanks for the encouragement. Uh, Cliffy for the three minutes. What's your dream car and dream house? Dream house? I don't know. Dream car? Like dream dream car? Like Bugatti Chiron. Jungle for the sub. Dandy for the three minutes. Uh, Rabbi for the sub, Dominator for the three. When are you playing Ready or Not Tuesday? Mr. Red for the sub, JMS, I am for the sub, Sins for the three inch biddies. W stream ready to four, Amy, uh, Annie Lull cast room faves to watch while doing hair and makeup. What? Wills for the sub, five star for the sub, TJ for the uh, five inch biddies, I is for the sub. Um, and Lays for the sub. Try to get into some good content, which is hard to do while the room is full of basic white girls. Joel for the three inch biddies, Larry for the, uh, for the three inch biddies. All right. Let's lock back in. Adam for the sub. Azor for the sub. Uh, one for the sub. Mister for the sub. I can't believe it's actually worked. Pizza! 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 George just starts fucking freaking out. Who wants some pizza? Yeah! I know you're not. Grabs Carl's head. Oh my god. I'm not supposed to swim. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. After you eat a bunch of pizza. But you're on a $25 million yacht. Which thankfully. Yeah, George Naruto runs away. George Naruto runs away. And then Carl's just kind of like decapitated on the floor. And Nolan's just going. No one's just dabbing. No one's just dabbing. <laughs> when you pay $25 million, you get some jet skis. Oh! Yeah, Three really flip the jet ski. Yet. Yo, Mac, catch this pizza. Where do you think they are? Probably North Carolina. Yo, Mac, catch this. And, I mean, I don't know if they're going to get the yachts to go all the way over there. The sea. No shit, dumbass. New York? They're not in New York. Oh, Mac, catch this pizza. Oh! 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 It's a $25 million yacht, and I'm the only one enjoying it. If you thought this yacht was crazy, look at this video of the $50 million yacht. You know what? <laughs> Honestly, let's just go to it right now. Zoom in. And now we are on the $50 million yacht. This yacht is over 200 feet long, four stories high, can hold over 200. Four stories, 200 people. For what? Who am I? Who the fuck are you inviting? Like, it's getting more and more outlandish. Do rich people have that many friends? People in comes with a 20 person crew. With this homeless person I found. What's up, guys? When you pay. Pete Davidson. This homeless person I found. What's up, guys? When you pay $50 million, you're- How the fuck do they choose? Like, see, it doesn't make- Like, dude, even when they asked me to do the burger video, I was like, how do they choose people to invite? Like, how do- How do they come upon being like, hey, Pete, you want to come out? Sit on a yacht? You're given this remote that can call the crew at any time. Is that what you call me? No, I just wanted to show them how this works. <laughs> but that's not the only thing. Pete Davidson, Carl Jacobs collab. Dab. Dab. Minecraft Let's Play with Pete Davidson. Dab. Remote does. They said this TV goes up and down. That's cut up, Joe. Fuck you. Shut up. Cool. We said stop. Yeah. <laughs> See, like chat, when you say stop, I'm, I'm, I gotta, I have to keep doing it. Oh, dude. I'm unfollowing? Okay. Maybe it's like... <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs, you guys go upstairs. Tell me if you find anything cool. Okay. okay. Bro, it is massive. It's like a whole nother boat up here. Jimmy, there's nothing cool up here, don't worry. Oh, Just... I would fuck up those fucking pastries. Oh my god. Okay. Bro, it is massive. It's like a whole I'm really rewinding so I can see it again. Jimmy, there's nothing. Oh my god, chat. That one filled with chocolate. Carl hits the floss. 
Carl hits the floss. Chris is just Chris is just so so fucking unwanting to be there. Or not unwanting. So not wanting to be there. Go up here, don't worry. Carl's just hitting the floss. This is crazy. Whoa. The interesting thing is I've just been walking and I don't know if I'm at the halfway point, the end of the boat, or if I just started. This thing's huge. Meanwhile, Nolan overslept, so he was still trying to find us. Have you seen Mr. Beast? Yes! Are you lying to me? Yes! Apparently Pete Davidson is there. If I don't see Pete Davidson, I'm gonna sink the $50 million yacht. Meanwhile, we noticed another boat was approaching us. And then the owner did this. I was waiting. <laughs> was approaching us. And then the owner did this. I was and then I blew him up with the fucking anti-missile defense system on the fucking boat. And then I blew him up. I shot the flares into the fucking sky to distract him like a missile's incoming. And then I blew up his fucking yacht. I was waving at him and he showed me his butt. That's gonna be someone's dad one day, <laughs> dude. All right, catch. <laughs> oh! I threw a shuriken at their boat. It lodged into the chest of one of them. Where are they going? Give me, give me, give are they me, backing me. away from us? Or that was a banana. I know. Oh my god! Hold up. Oh. Are we just that much better? <laughs> oh. Get him. Oh. This is the oh. most. Oh. The guy that's bigger and stronger than all of us did it? <laughs> wow, shocking! I wonder what other kind of food they got on the shop. I heard they have lamb. They do not have lamb. Mm -hmm. Who no. is this? Oh. Cook to the dinner. Oh, man. Oh, Thank you so much. I, I don't like lamb. I think lamb's pretty mid. Like, some lamb's all right, but... Like, lamb in general tastes pretty bad, in my opinion. My girlfriend cheated at Vice. Uh, break up with her. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> what projects do you have coming up? Uh, ooh, I'm very excited. I have a show called Bupkis coming out on Peacock on May 4th. Three days before my birthday. And while Nolan was still trying to find us. Which on May 4th. That's so amazing. That's that, that's how you know that this shit was filmed in April. Action to Mr. April B or March. Please go! We noticed a lot of boats. Sir. I would never go, never go on one of those fishing boats, chat. I'm going to say that right now. If you ever take one of those charters, I don't know if this is just a charter boat or a fishing boat, never go on an offshore fishing boat that looks like this. You will have the worst time of your life, right? You're going to be fishing next to a hundred other people. Your lines are going to get tangled. You're going to have a terrible time. You're all going to be standing the whole time and you're going to be with fucking you're going to be with fucking, like, you're going to be with the, imagine a Disney adult, right? Those are the people that you're going to be with. I'm not dissing Disney adults, but being tightly packed shoulder to shoulder with, um, like, full families of, like, nine people that are so excited to be fishing and, like, they're going to catch nothing. CRZ for the three hundred buddies. I already flex chat. Are you Canadian? You took my breath away. What? Brendan for the uh, two thousand biddies. Thanks for being the person I can watch while absolutely being faded. Uh, a little jello for the sub. Brendan for the thousand biddies. Nendy for the three hundred bits. Do you think you could survive in a raft in the ocean? How far into the ocean am I? Am I like seeing the shore, or am I in the middle of fucking nowhere? In the middle of nowhere? No. Face for the thousand biddies. You gonna put this on YouTube? I don't know. Masonic for the three hundred biddies. Did you see somebody posted the entire Feasible secret video on TikTok? Nope. Uh, Adam, Azor, only Mr. Lemur, and shout out for the sub. All right. We noticed a lot of boats surrounding our floating billboard. I didn't even Aren't you in New Jersey? How did you not get the joke? He, I think he's referencing the Canadian wildfires. No, you can put billboards in the ocean. And we thought they might want some chocolate. I'm delivering chocolate. Yo, you guys want chocolate? <laughs> Oh my god! Let's go! Oh god! Yeah. Let me know if this is the best shock bar ever! Oh my god! Out of 10 to the left, Hershey's don't know nothing! Hershey's doesn't know nothing! Everyone agrees it's better than Hershey's! You need to try it! How much do you think his chocolate brand makes? Because he shouts that shit out in every video. Like, I wanna. Do you think they would have numbers on that?
How much does Feastables make? 50 mil? The Feastables brand in the first few months of its making made more than 10 million. But like, how much does his product make now? It's been out for like a year. They, in the first three months, they made 10 million. That's nuts. Tell me what you think. Honestly, way better than Reese's. That's what I like to hear. What do you give it? Hey. A 10. Just complaining. Just complaining for fucking attention. Shows for the sub, 10 tacos and mute for the sub. Bars to people. Hey, Feastables incoming! Let go of the string! One Feastable bar delivered. Hey, Carl, they're trying your gummies. If you want to try the best chocolate... 500 milligram weed gummies get fucking owned, losers. Delivered. Buddy thought they were just Mr. Beast gummies. Little do they know, we just drugged them. Hey, Carl, they're trying your gummies. If you want to try the best chocolate bars, cookies, and gummies on the planet, go to Walmart, 7-Eleven, or any Albertson stores right now. Or go to Feastables.com right now. Feastables is in that many stores? 7-Eleven, or any Albertson stores right now. Or go to Feastables.com right now. Feastables is in Acme? Now if you want to order online. Hey, what do you think? This is amazing. This is better than every other chocolate, so why wouldn't you get these nuts? I agree. Put our nuts in your mouth. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, Nolan finally found us. Jimmy! Nolan! We had another five-star dinner, and the next morning, we boarded one of the world's largest yachts. This, Dude, this is actually a really long... I feel like this video's been going on for, like, 30 minutes. Is the 300... Because I keep pausing. A million dollar yacht, and it has over 50 crew members. Don't try Feastables cookies. It feels like you're eating dirt, and it says plant-based, so it's probably dirt. It's not dirt. It's probably, like, some weird fucking, like, lentils and plant paste. Like, it's not dirt, dude. Plant-based cookies are always dry. Because you can't put, like, butter in them. First, waiting on your every request. Tons of luxurious rooms and nine master... If they're vegan. Bedroom. Oh, my God. Welcome aboard. I literally can't see the top of the boat from here. We are the 69th largest yacht in the world. Is that a factual statement? Yes, it is. That is crazy. <laughs> there are six floors, a massive... 69th largest yacht in the world. It doesn't even really look that big. Well, that's because it's in comparison to this fucking thing. I think them putting this in front of every or behind everything else kind of just makes these look tiny as shit. We boarded one of the world's largest yachts. This is the $300 million yacht, and it has over 50 crew members waiting on your every request. Tons of luxurious rooms and nine master bedrooms. Oh my God. Welcome aboard. I literally can't see the top of the boat from here. We are the 69th largest yacht in the world. Is that a factual statement? Yes, it is. That is crazy. <laughs> there are six floors, a massive- Carl's gummies taste like rock hard shit. I didn't even know they had gummies. And a Are you losing your voice? Yeah, I'm always losing my voice. Tub with a view. This is nice. This is ridiculous. This is my favorite boat so far. The $300 million. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe because it's a fucking $100 million more than the other ones. Yeah, it comes with the state-of-the-art gym that overlooks the ocean. <laughs> what? Dude, if my boat had a gym, I'd work out. <laughs> <laughs> a movie theater with windows that auto darken whenever you watch something. And even the table that's is like one of the only things I really want in one when I get a house, like like a nice house. I really want an at-home movie theater. Like any of y'all have a friend that has an at-home movie theater? Ben, I wish I did. Because like I see I see all those fucking movies where they go hang out at this kid's house and it's like so nice. Where I knew this one kid that had an at-home movie theater and I was friends with him for like a month. And I never watched a movie at his house in like middle school. And I was so upset. Because dude, it's so nice. They have like the fucking lay down seats. They have a big projector screen. They get the movies early. 
Three million dollars. I have a huge one. Yeah, you better use it. And the piano plays itself. I want one of these in my house. All the boys disappeared in the spa. Come with me. Oh, you're getting a haircut. Yes. Carl was in the sauna. Are you alive? Barely. That does not look comfortable. And I don't even know where Nolan is. Oh, it's so hot! Ah! Man, Nolan we're so sunburnt. It is insane. <laughs> Nolan looks like me on my fucking Instagram pic. When I got so fucking burnt and I had that the goddamn worst tan lines in the world. Hold up. Okay, no, I think I'm worse than Nolan. Mine's pretty red. Really got in a hot tub with a sunburn. Dude, there's more downstairs? Whoa. Flex! 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 Somebody redeemed flex! Relax. Oh my gosh. Do you think they have enough jet skis? What's behind? What the fuck is that? A stand up one? This door. Oh, I'm doing this! One of us is getting thrown off the side of the boat. Huh? Carl! It's always Nolan. It's always Nolan. They bully Nolan. Bye! <laughs> hey, always be ready for nose goes. All right, now just, now just start the boat up. Just start the boat up. Just keep it moving. Jimmy, can we eat some food? Yeah, when you get back. Boys, we must act like rich billionaires. <laughs> Cling. Would you rather have 300 $1 million ships or one $300 million ship? You could almost have... 300 one million dollar ships because i would sell every other ship and then i would just live on one of the fucking one million dollar ones and i would have an unlimited amount of money if you if you gave me a 300 million dollar boat you would go broke in a day one for every different day of the year i'm not going to take care of 300 boats which would you rather have 300 boats or one big boat you want the big boat gentlemen did any of you notice a boat pulling up no. On that boat might be Tom Brady. By might, I mean it is. What do you mean, Tom Brady? And we should probably go say hi to him. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Tom. What's up, guys? And if you don't know who Tom Brady is, he is the number one. Oh my God, he just looks like a lizard person. He just doesn't look real. <laughs> hey, Tom. What's up, guys? And if you don't know who Tom Brady is, like, dude. Hold up. Dude, it's like it's giving Mark Zuckerberg. Like Skinwalker. Somebody just said, I'm so bored. See you, Joel. He is, he is the number one quarterback in NFL history. So this is where you get your hair cut on the boat. So oh it turns gosh. into a dentistry. Clean your teeth too. <laughs> is this the nice- I don't know why you're showing like a damn near billionaire a fancy boat that he probably has. How, what is, Tom Brady net worth. $512 million. $512 million. And as you can see here, there's a, a hot tub on this boat. Isn't that pretty cool? <laughs> Same with Pete Davidson. Well, Pete's not as rich. Pete, Pete's a millionaire, but he's not. He's probably as rich as Mr. Beast. This boat you've been on? Oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. If you eat too many these nuts bars before <laughs> breakfast, I literally had to hide them in my house because I knew these two would sneak to right where they- No, you know what's nuts though? is like, do you think these can- Do you think his kids can grow up not spoiled? Like, could they grow up? Uh, yeah, I think it's based on parenting to a big degree. Uh, but I will say their value of money is immediately lower than anyone, uh, like any of us, right? Because if you're born into a family where your dad is worth $500 million, and you probably live in like a, a $200 million house and you only eat like fucking $200 meals a day, like every meal, like you can't really grow to accept or not accept, appreciate those things.
Where they're at. I did. This place is so fun. It's really an endless maze. I think it's the nice boat in the world. It's I so really beautiful. do. Beautiful. And it's crazy. We still have more floors to go on. To reach the master of the camera. <laughs> thank you, thank you. This is a way Big. nicer helicopter pad. When I think of a helicopter pad on a yacht, this is what I think of. Not what we had before. And what do you think he gets bullied for that video where his dad kisses him on the lips? I kind of feel bad if he did. Helicopter pad. When I think of a helicopter pad on a yacht, this is what I think of. Not what we had before. But I mean, to be fair, you're fucking Tom Brady's kid. You kissed your dad. I could buy your family, you fucking cuck. You kissed your dad. I blew up your house. <laughs> I blew up your house. I'm sorry. Oh, your family owns the corner pizza store? Damn, that thing just caught on fire. That's crazy. I have, I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> Before. And with Tom Brady here, of course we had to play some football. This is the most fun version of catch because you just do this and he just throws it there. Nope. Nah, I don't think they make fun of him. I think, I think they're like fake friends. That's another problem. Like, not only is he growing up with, like, a bad value of, like, a bad valuing of money, everybody's fake as shit because you're Tom Brady's kid. All of your friends are Tom Brady fucking fans, and so they're your friends because you're Tom Brady's kid and you're rich. It's like, you, it's like somebody being friends with you because you're rich or famous times two. I just suck. <laughs> That's what I got paid for, Jimmy. Come on. I want to think his kid will be a good football player. See if you can hit my drone out. Maybe. Oh, he's going to hit the drone with the football? Of the sky oh, no. with the football. All right. If I hit the drone on the first try, maybe oh. I should come out of retirement. I like that. Oh, for like the 18th time? For the 18th time? I was just kidding again. I just signed with the fucking Rams. I'm just joking. I'm signing with the Rams. I probably will miss. First try. Oh, <laughs> no. That wasn't first try. That was uh, that was tenth try. Easy. There was there's just a mound of footballs in the ocean. Put your sunscreen on. <laughs> Carl's probably the worst wide receiver. Don't you make fun of Nolan you've ever thrown to. Unless you dome him in the head, he's probably not gonna catch him. All right, Carl, don't screw this up. Just throw it as far as you can. Oh, no! <laughs> you hit him in the chest. You gotta hit him in the head. <laughs> After chilling with Tom Brady, we hung out in the movie room for the rest of the night. Would you say this is the best boat so far? 100%. But keep in mind, there's still a billion dollar boat after this. I think he went on that for his kids. Cause like, why did his kids show up? Because they love Mr. Beast. Dad, can we go on a Mr. Beast video? Yeah, sure. And then they get Tom Brady to fucking show up. Now the kids can go. How big can that I get? would do the same damn thing if I'm Tom Brady's kid. Dad, Dad, you better get me on a Mr. Beast video. <laughs> you better get me on a Mr. Beast video. It is four times bigger than this boat. These things get bigger? This ship is bigger than three Statues of Liberty. Holy crap. You cannot- Same exactly, dude. If your dad is Tom Brady and you just want to meet someone famous, just tell your dad you want to meet them. Yo, dad, for my birthday, can I meet Jimmy? Yeah, sure. <laughs> then they pop out to the yacht. You're going to have a fun day, too. How much do you think it costs for them to rent this fucking yacht for a day? Fathom how massive this ship is. $10 million. Is. It is literally a floating city that is. No. Oh my God. They haven't done an ad this video though. Other than for Feastables. More than that. I mean, they might have like a down pricing because it also kind of gives promotion to the company that he showcases. So they probably charge him less. 1,200 feet wide and 17 stories high. And it fits almost 10,000 people. In all the other ships, we had our own rooms. Was that a fucking arena? 1,000 people. In all the other ships. In all. Is that an ice rink? 
Royal Caribbean probably gave him a discount, yeah. All the other ships, we had our own rooms, but this ship has over 2,000 rooms. If he shouts out Royal Caribbean, they do it for free. Swear to God. If he says, I'm saying that right now, I'm going to make my bet. If he says, thanks to Royal Caribbean, they gave it to him for free. No doubt. This boat has water slides, an indoor mall, a basketball court, and tons of other stuff I can't even name. I ran out of fingers. All of which we have to ourselves. Have fun, boys. Yes! Yes! Well, it's that way. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. Whoa! There's a water slide. There's a whole entire water park up here. I'm breaking the rules. We're running, we're running. Oh, sorry, my If I went on a water slide on a yacht, I would be terrified I would skyrocket off the fucking ship into the middle of the ocean and die. They literally have live music in the water park. What the heck? There's even an entire sports floor that has everything you can imagine. Mini golf? Let's go! We're literally playing mini golf on a ship right now. Interference! And I wasn't exaggerating when I said this ship is a city. Casino! Hold up. Hold up. Everything you can imagine. Mini golf? Let's go! We're literally playing mini golf on a ship right now. Interference! And I was. <laughs> Oh, gambler, shut up. Wasn't exaggerating when I said. Yeah, that was a casino. Ugh, they only had slots. Wasn't exaggerating when I said. Did I hear blowing all of my earnings? Did I hear? Did I hear losing all of my money? This ship is a city. Is there somebody that's worth a billion dollars? There's literally seven neighborhoods on this ship. This is insane. We're still on a ship. And just for reference. Why do they have trees on the ship? That is nuts. This is what one of those neighborhoods look like. So I went down a slide. And Starbucks. Now I'm teleported into like a different world. And you have a carousel? They have shops, restaurants, arcades, even a Starbucks. Hey Chandler. Hey. A hundred million people are watching. Let's see if you make the shot. This is crazy. Like, how can I use all these seats? I'm only one person. And apparently, there's an entire floor for indoor shows and events. What is this, bro? We got the whole ship to ourselves. Sell, 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 sell. Obviously, I don't need this giant ship all to myself. So, I wanted to share this experience with you guys, my subscribers. Yo, he invited them on board for how long? Mr. B, subscribe to Mr. B. Holy cow, this boat. Actually, pretty nice. What's up, boys? Let's get it. We're gonna go ride the carousel. Where'd Chandler go? The day? I mean, I feel like they're probably staying there at least like one night. And just when we had thought we had seen everything here. What is this? How do humans build this stuff? Also, in this giant mall, inside of this giant ship, there's a bar that comes down from the ceiling. Wait, what are those robotic arms? That's a bionic bar. Oh, oh. All right, buddy. Oh, oh. <laughs> they got a robot bar? <laughs> this is sick. From the kids' menu. <laughs> See how much you guys might- Oh, no way Nolan ordered something from the kids' menu. When did y'all stop? How old were you when you stopped ordering from the kids' menu? I swear to God, if any of you say, I still do. Subscribers, we're enjoying this ship. <laughs> I think most kids' menus stop when you're like 10. You're let go. And I had one last surprise for my subscribers on the cruise ship, so I had Nolan gather. I used the kid menu till I was 12, because I was really picky. And they would let me slide by. They would say, all right, you can have the chicken fingers. Put them all together. I have a big 16. announcement for all of you. To all the subscribers we brought here today, we're giving you a three night free cruise. I told y'all it would be some shit. Oh my God. And there. Thanks to Royal Caribbean. And if you want to be in a video in the future, subscribe so you can join us next time. We filmed a secret Mr. Beast video that will never be uploaded to YouTube. The only way you can watch this video is by buying a Feastables product within the next 30 no way. days and scanning the QR code on the back of it. There's literally never been a better time to buy Feastables from Walmart, Albertsons, 7-Eleven, or Feastables.com. I spent over a million dollars on this secret video. You oh my god, a Mr. Beast burger video? I wonder who's in that. Want to buy Feastables so you can watch it. Oh, there's my video. Why the fuck was that recommended after Mr. Beast? I mean, I ain't complaining, but... Poot for the sub-Yankees, for the sub-Young, for the 300 bitties. Look at the description to see if you got any links. Tentacos for the 500 bitties. 
Young Tater. I can't. I, I've already seen the Mr. Beast video of mine. I can't watch it on stream until they stop sending or stop selling the QR code bars. In about a month, I can react to it on stream. Okay. Was I too quiet there, chat? Tessie goes for the Fox Committee. If I was Tom Brady's son, I'd be getting backstage passes to every rapper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Every concert ever. I'm going to the WWE showdowns. I'm going to UFC fights. Front row. Fuck. Rolling for the sub. He probably gets handed. Dude, if you're Tom Brady, you probably just get handed free tickets to like every event. I would just give those tickets to my kid and I would say go. If I didn't want to go, food for the sub. CC for the sub. And everybody always says, Oh, but when you're Tom Brady's kid, you can't really be in your, your, your son's life that much. Bitch, I don't care. You're Tom Brady's kid. You're Tom Brady's kid. You're fucking, you're filthy fucking rich. I mean, you're going to grow up kind of being a cocky asshole. 90% chance, right? Not a guarantee. Maybe he's a great dad. I don't know. But like, you know, you're that rich. You're probably going to grow up being a dickhead. But you're filthy rich. All right, next video. Woman gets caught trying to steal eighty eight hundred dollars worth of makeup. On December 11th, 2022, police were dispatched to an undesirable case at CVS Pharmacy in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. A CVS Pharmacy? I thought it was going to be a Walmart. No way you're yoinking shit from a CVS Pharmacy. There's like six aisles. They're going to fucking see you. Staff reported that a female inside the store refused to leave after being told they were closing. They also advised she had stolen from them before. And it appeared she was about to do it again with approximately $800 worth of cosmetics. Upon arrival, the officers told the 23-year-old female, How do you think you would steal $800 worth of cosmetics from a CVS without being fucking caught? Like, dude, maybe a Walmart, right? You got a fucking bag. You just shove that shit in there. A CVS. There's like fucking four aisles. And like, they have cameras everywhere later identified as Adelie to leave however she continued yeah, makeup's pretty expensive though like how many individual items is eight hundred dollars of makeup like 20 like a makeup thing is like 30 40 bucks you need to look through the aisle ignoring them. two yeah you got lip gloss and fucking eyeliner that's 835 dollars <laughs> Did they lock the store? Oh, the little Santas. Hi. Hey. Are they going to sneak up to her? Okay. And she's not going to buy that stuff. Well, it's gone. Good. So, sounds like the store doesn't want you here, so you're going to have to grab What is she doing? Is she doing like a dance? So, sounds like the store doesn't want you here, so you're going to have to grab... Oh, it is on Okay. What? what did she just say? What's that? Hey. What? Listen. What? Put your stuff down and you gotta leave. No. Yes, or else I'm gonna escort you out. Oh my god. Put your stuff down. No, I don't want to. I didn't ask you. I'm telling you, put your stuff down. Oh my god. We're leaving. Is she actually trying to claim she's going to buy $800 worth of makeup from a fucking CVS? I'm telling you to do what I already told you to do. Grab, give me this stuff. When Adelie was leaving. Oh my leaving, god, she's like a toddler. The store alarm went off due to the merchandise she had concealed. <laughs> but first. She... All right, empty your pockets. She opens her jacket. Fucking 500 things fall out. Well, I don't know how those got there. First, let's hear a quick word from today's video sponsor. Video spots are in a blue cam body cam video. What? Sir, Bullet Safe. Bullet Safe offers top quality, affordable bulletproof vests like the VP3. A sponsored video from code Blue Cam. Skipping that. I love you, Blue Cam, uh, or Code Blue Cam now. Sorry, I got to skip the sponsor. My bad, bro. Yes. 
somebody just said a W. I use those in school. What? You wear a bulletproof vest to school? Our inventory control. Somebody just said some people are autistic. Oh, autistic. Dude, some people are autistic, Joe. I'm not making fun of autistic people. What are you on? I said, what is she doing? She's stealing and she's dancing and mumbling to herself. That by no means does, means she's autistic. And even if she is, that does not mean you're stealing $800 worth of makeup. From a CVS. This kid is spamming out the ass. Do I ban this motherfucker? You're losing your voice. Oh, I know. Just don't make fun of Tom Brady. He's my cousin. It's autism. It's autism. Some people are autistic. Okay? Oh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that people aren't autistic. I'm saying there's no way of, of saying definitively, oh, she's autistic. Call system. Please return to your cashier and we'll your transaction. Come here. Come here. Does that mean she took something? I thought the beeper only goes off if it's clothing with that weird thing on it. How does the beeper even work? Where are we? No, I didn't steal anything. I didn't. Uh, maybe it's on. Maybe it's only on like expensive things, the barcode. Yeah, but there's no way it's on like Skittles. Like if you yoink a, if you five finger a bag of Skittles, and then walk out. That shit. That shit ain't gonna go. Wee 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 wee. Like it's not gonna fucking go off. Dinos for the sub TJ for the three. Cafe is crazy. I work in retail. People are actually like this. Anthony for the sub. Uh, Travis and CC for the sub. Okay. I didn't. Oh, somebody redeemed Dent. I, well, I stop. I didn't steal anything. Then why is your alarm system you can going go off? My bag. We are. We're going to. Okay, but I didn't take it anything. off. That's all my shit that I bought. Yeah. But I don't oh my shit I bought. Dude, that bag looked like it was heavy. Okay. Okay. Get that here in a second. What the fuck are you doing? Stop. Don't you fucking do that. Stop. No. You're going to be in cuffs. You're going no, to No, I'm not. Yes, you are. What the fuck? Stop. I will kill you. That's fine. <laughs> Bro, why, why do they always say to an officer, I'm going to kill you? Like now, dude, that's just another charge. That one sentence, you just got charged again. You just said you're gonna kill an officer. Yeah, they ain't gonna kill you. Yeah, cool. What the fuck are you doing? No. Nah, she has to be on drugs, bro. Okay, we're done. Do Hands. She then stated she was in a gang called the Gangster Disciples. As I'm in a gang called the Gangster Disciples. As a response, the officers exhibited no concern and swiftly decentralized her. I'm in a gang. I'll fucking kill you. Okay, we're done. What the fuck? You know. Stop. Stop. Knock it off. No, Stop. Please. Do you think that's a real gang? Should I Google that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Gangster Disciples. I mean, it could be. The Gangster Disciples, also known as Growth and Development, is an African-American street and prison gang formed in 1969. Is she African American? I don't know. I, if it's if it's strictly an African American gang, I don't think she would be in that gang. Knock it off. She looks Latino. Yeah, but I I that wouldn't. That's not African American. No, Stop. Please. Knock it off! Stop Knock it off! I'm a disciple! I'm a disciple! Knock it off! I mean, maybe. Like, I, I don't know how she would be in the gang, though. I'm reading the Wikipedia article, by the way. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if the Wikipedia article has the gang rules down packed, but. Two rival gangsters united to form this black gangster disciple nation. Yeah, I don't think she's in that gang, then. 
What is she saying? Stop kicking me. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> just stop, lady. I'm just trying to fucking go home. I just want to watch. I just want to watch Netflix. Come on. Hey, 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 can we talk? No. Can we talk after like t saying 10 times she was going to kill them? Stop trying to scratch me. Stop trying to scratch me. Please talk to me. <laughs> I mean, please talk to me. Oh, please talk to me. Please talk to me. Guys, talk to me. Guys, you can search me. I promise. I didn't steal anything. You guys can search me, okay? You You're can gonna search her bag, and it's just gonna be filled with makeup. Everything, okay? Guys, stop talking. I didn't steal anything. They're all watching. They're gonna kill. He's coming up right now. He's coming up right now. Stop! Ah! He's coming up right now to kill you! Stop! Stop! Please! She probably reeks. Nah, bro. Y'all say that every time. Remember that one time? You remember that one episode we watched where the guy actually shit his pants? He was like running in the snow and he was like, I shit myself. And the guy was like, ugh. The cop went, ugh. Uh, I'm a, uh, uh, and he was like, back up. Stop it! Stop, stop me. kicking me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I then just, stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not that hard. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Stand up. Alright, walk. Oh, stop it. She makes a run for it. She just starts running. She starts Naruto running. Hey, you can still you can still hit that Naruto sprint, even if you're in handcuffs, bro. That's how you know it's the it's the it's the getaway fucking method. You just gotta sprint. Why did you go up with you? <laughs> you're gonna throw up? No, I didn't. You no, I'm sorry. Did I really? I don't know what Numerous you did. Numerous times. I did? Yeah. I'm sorry. Did I really? I'm really sorry. I think someone's done some math today. No. Did she steal sunscreen? Is that sunscreen? That looks like SPF sunscreen. Don't you act like that? So there's this. That's what I know. Ew, what did he just smell his hand for? Which. That's what I know. Which. What was that? What's your name? What's that? Adeline. I'm a disciple. I'm a disciple. I'm a disciple. No, you're not. Okay. Look at my. Look, take off my jacket. I'm a disciple. Look, I'm wearing it. I'm okay, wearing a jacket. Take it off. Take, take this off. Okay, how do you spell your first name? I'm a, I'm a, why does she keep saying she's a gangster disciple? Like, is that going to make them not arrest her? I'm a disciple. Look at my jacket. Okay. Take it off. Take it. So How do you spell it. your first name? A D A. Yep. Look at my jacket. Look at my jacket. It's a fruit. It's one of those fruit roll ups with one of those imprint things stuck to her chest or stuck to her arm. That's what I don't want you guys. To if she is in the gang, I know what she's trying. I, I'm assuming she's trying to warn them that, like, if she gets arrested because she's in the gang, then they'll, like, in turn hurt the cops. I, they'll kill you for killing me. They will. They're not going to kill you. What do you mean? They're going to kill you for killing me. The cops aren't going to fucking kill you. You're arrested in a cop car. My gang, ADA. My gang will murder you. Okay. I wouldn't kill you guys. Okay. I got you guys back for life. Like, you just said you would kill them. Like, a minute ago. Like, when you were like, ah! on the ground, you were like, I'm going to murder you. Like five times you said that. Yeah. What if you kill me? I kill you, okay? I care about you guys. That's why Even I if you kill me, I got you. Like this. Okay. ADA. A D A L E. That's my, that's my government name. Then, it is my legal government name. What's your I, last name? Never give it to anyone. A D A L E. That's my real name, I swear. 
so hard to tell like what is uh, stolen and oh, yeah, right. but... <laughs> she just has a bag of shit it's impossible to tell what's stolen and what's not did you find an idea i have zero idea what she's even telling me for her actual name adelie something Oh my I'm god. I'm a gang, I'm a disciple. Perfect. I care about you. Okay. What I don't is, want you to die. What's your first name? My gang would kill you. That's why I told you guys to stop. Okay? What's your first name? I gotta look this up. I ha now I have to look up if white people are allowed in, in, in gangster disciples. Are white people in gangster disciples? Because this is gonna bother me if I don't know. Larry Hoover, the chairman of the Gangster Disciple Nation, created the idea for the alliance and persuaded... Oh, an alliance... Oh, yeah, Gangster Disciple Alliance. Did she say she was a gangster disciple or in the Gangster Alliance? I just don't... It, like, every description just says it's an only African-American or black gang. It doesn't say that she... Like, like oh, white people could be in it. She said gangster disciple. Are gangster disciples allowed to be white? Can you be white and be a gangster disciple? Yes, you can. I'm a maniac Latin disciple. I'm folks, but hey, it's not like old days anymore. Hoover didn't say anything about race. So apparently they can't have white. Maybe she is in the gang. Maybe she is in the gang. Maybe she's not lying. I will protect you. What's I really don't think that the, the people would kill her, though. Or kill them. Like, I don't think the gang would kill the cops for just arresting her. First thing. Adeline for stealing makeup from a fucking CVS. What is it? Adelie. Adelie. Sorry, I'm stop this. I don't want you. I can't. Sperry. <clears throat> I found her. Yeah. Hmm. That's what meth will do. Yeah, she's lonely. That's what meth will do. <laughs> nah, bro, the cop, the cop works over. He goes, huh. And looks at the bass photos. That's fucked. Hmm. That's what Russell do. Yeah, she's... Damn, because she probably looked way different. Blows in a lot of way. She's a disciple, just so you know. No, she might be in a... She, he's a, She's a disciple, just so you know. Like, he didn't hear that. Okay, she might be a disciple then. She's not going to hurt you, but her gang will. <laughs> and I told her, I was oh like... Oh my god, they're joking about it. Oh, that is fucking insane. The cops are joking about it. Just so you know. She's not gonna hurt you, but her gang will. <laughs> and I told her, I was like, no, you're not. And then she... she Went sideways? Out. Yeah, she freaked out. Uh, nothing open, no probation, no warrants. So, so just uh, resisting the threats to law enforcement? Threats to law enforcement. Battery to law enforcement. It's just a very specific gang to say you're in, right? Like, if y'all got arrested and you had to lie about being in a gang, what gang would you say you're in? Like, you would say, like, a name brand gang. Not a name. I don't want to say name brand. But, like, a gang that, like, I haven't heard of Gangster Disciples, right? But that's also just because I don't know a lot about gangs. But, like, most people are, I, I feel like most people would say, like, oh, they're part of the Bloods or the Crips, right? Compton, Gucci Gang, FaZe Clan. Yeah, now that's what I would say. Cause I don't. I'm not gonna pass as a gang. I'm not gonna pass as a gang member. I look like a fucking weenie. I look like a fucking dweeb. I'm a part of Face Clan. I don't think you want to mess with me. My 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 trick shotters will fuck you up. I don't think you want to mess with me. Do you have you heard of Nick Merckx? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I would have to say. Like if I like I'm I'm never gonna pass as a gang member. Uh. Team 10. Uh, Have you ever heard of Jake Paul? It's a pretty good boxing record. You know, I could get him on you guys. I guess I'm just going to take all of that. I feel like Gangster Disciples are probably a popular gang now. But I don't know what part of the United States they're in. Where are Gangster Disciples located? Because that also matters. Chicago. Okay, well, no shit that I don't fucking know who they are. I don't live in Chicago. Uh that one looks brand new. That one looks brand new. I can't tell if this is used. 
I'm assuming she took that out of the box. This has never been touched. It's, it's so hard to tell. What is it that you didn't take? It's, 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 that was, all that stuff is mine that I bought. The only stuff that I didn't like buy. I, I didn't buy all the stuff that was in the, the basket in the store and what you guys took on my All the stuff in my bags are is mine. I put it on me. I put it on my gang and God. I... You have that much makeup at all times. You carry you carry a full bag of makeup for your face. There's no way. And like what's the point of stealing makeup? Can you resell that shit? Like why steal makeup? Is that something you can make a profit off of? Where are you reselling it? Okay. eBay? We are. <laughs> 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 We're not there anymore. Let's take, I'll take this back. You would Should use it? Back. This is theirs too. She like, sounded like XQC there. Yeah, how fast she was talking. Dude, XQC talks at the speed of light, but he mumbles. Because, like, the cover? Like, so there's just so much that I... No, you guys are just, just like, uh, you know, it's just like, um... Uh, you know what I saw about I saw talking? Um, uh, it's just really, uh... It's just not really fair uh, how the way they do that. It, yeah, he talks so quick. Like, so fast. You can tell me what is and what isn't. But obviously she had something if it was going on. Kai talks pretty fast, too. You ever watch a Kai Sinat stream? Kai and X, they'll talk so fast. I like how you also broke the glass. <laughs> oh, I know. I was like, so great. <laughs> Get right off the rail. He just broke it. I'm assuming these are ours. Yeah. <laughs> So, Thing is, when she came in, that went off. So oh, I really? wonder if she brought these back Probably from stealing it. The first time. Yeah. When she came in, it went off. Why would she put them at, like, her house? Yep, yeah, it's ours. Okay. If she never comes in here again. That's fine with me. Perfect. We don't want her back. We'll do. You can do whatever you do with the charges. Okay. All right. I appreciate you guys coming. Absolutely. I mean, How long was she in here she before? She was in here for about... Dude, minutes. I feel so bad, too, because CVSs do not make that much money. It's like a corner drugstore. Like, like this guy probably, it's probably his CVS. Like, his franchise CVS. Bro does not care if she gets charged? Yeah. But bro, because, he, like, how much money do you think a CVS makes a day? Like, they probably make, like, 3K, but, like, 3K not profit, and they have so many workers. And just uh, had a pile of stuff. Yeah, five grand I... a day? I don't know if they make five grand a day. Dude, what CVS are you going? How many people? Like, see, now that's cap. How many pe When you walk into a CVS, how many people are in the store at that time? It's just you. It's just you. Maybe, like, two other people. Ever. Ten? You What? You're walking to a goddamn packed CVS. You might have the best CVS on the fucking block, pal. What CVS are you walking into where there's fucking 10 people in there? None. What about Lids? Dude, I still, I have the conspiracy theory that Lids is a money laundering business. I have to make a video on that. I should make a video on that. Like my Disney sniffer video, I'm going to. There's no possible way that Lids makes more than fucking $5 a fucking day, dude. They sell maybe two hats. Two a day. What? Who the fuck walks into a Lids? When was the last time y'all walked into a Lids? What is a Lids? A hat store. They're at like every mall. This is a Lids. This, bl this picture is blurry as fuck. But like, dude, it's just hats. It's just hats. Maybe like two shirts. Never. You've never walked. Exactly. You pass a Lids, you don't walk into it. I walk into a Lids, there's like... No one there. It's the one worker. So, yeah, they have a low cost of, like, fucking pay, like, work, work effort. It's only one guy. But still, they sell maybe two hats. Tentacles for the sub, Firebug for the sub, Jake for the sub. Captain Dog and Big Bonds for the sub. And EXP and Bennett and Moon for the sub. I mean, I used to work at a GNC, which was very similar where, like, no one really walked into that, uh, to a GNC, right? It's a supplement store. But, like, 10 people walk in a day, they buy $300 worth of shit. So it makes money. Ver for 300 minis. Did I miss the Mr. Beast react? Yeah. Lana, burn and big for the sub. Uh, Dinos for the sub. TJ for the 300 minis. I, I was going to let her go, and then she 
rolling around on the floor there, just pulling shit in that basket. Mm-hmm. Like, you gotta go. I go, we're going to lunch, we're locking up. Mm-hmm. Um, and she, I go, I'm, I'm gonna call an officer, and she's like, it didn't matter. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. it's, you gonna arrest her or what? Yeah. Okay. Yep, she's going to jail, so. I promise you, I'm not lying. Okay. I was gonna buy out some of the and what is my bag? I was going to buy all this stuff at the store. Yeah, hit me with that money spread then, right? You were going to buy $800 uh, of, fucking, uh, of fucking makeup. Hit me with that money spread. Where are your money spread at? What are you going to use to pay for it? Where's your credit card? Are you playing Help Wanted or FNAF 4 tomorrow? FNAF 4, maybe Night of Consumers as well. My VR isn't fully set up yet. I need to do like a few more things, but it'll be ready when I get back from my trip. Uh, but FNAF 4 is tomorrow. And tomorrow is the start of our, uh, are y'all off of school? Now I'm doing a poll again. Are y'all off of school yet? Tomorrow is the beginning of our summer stream schedule. Uh, meaning I will not be streaming at 4.30 EST on weekdays anymore. Uh, until the end of the summer. Uh, I'll be streaming at 2 p.m. on weekdays and 2 p.m. on weekends. Uh, T.O. for the sub, Raiden for the sub. Speaking of, I actually have to write down to change my schedule. Change schedule on Twitch. How are y'all still in school? A lot of northern schools stay in school till like late June, which is really annoying. All right. That many of y'all are still off? Should I should I stream at 2 p.m. EST tomorrow or no? Damn. 30% of y'all are still in class. There's no way. Do we stream 2 p.m. EST weekdays starting tomorrow? Yes or no? Jazz likes for the sub, Buster for the sub, Lukey for the sub, Tio for the sub. Is she from around here, do you think? Or? Uh, she was listed at Homeless at Claire, so okay. I'm assuming that looks like we've dealt with her before. So. Yeah. She's been. Oh, most people are voting yes for that, though. All right. Only stream I'm on when I'm out of school? Yeah, no. Puppy, what, whatever majority wins you do, that's not true. Because if it's based on a schedule thing, if 51% vote this and 49% vote that, that's almost half of my audience can't watch me at that time. But if 76% of my audience is saying to stream at 2 p.m. EST tomorrow, starting tomorrow, then I'm gonna. Puppy for the 20. Uh, sorry for the derogatory language. I assure you it won't happen again. Can you please unban? Uh, no guarantee. I appreciate the 20. I'll look at your user. Uh, you said the N-word. Instead of T. Nichols, you said that. Uh, not unbanning you. Sorry. You're six months up, dude. You know the rules. Uh, that's just how it is. You said the N-word in my chat. Come on, that's funny. Dude, it's the N-word. Been in here before and yeah. the same. But he's black. Uh, I mean, I can't really tell that kid, but everybody in his profile picture looks white, so. And you said it three times, too, right? Like, you were trying to get banned. Um... And I appreciate the 20, man, but I'm not unbanning you. You said the N-word. Or you said T, instead of T Nichols, you said the N-word replacing the C and a K when T Nichols is black. Uh, and then you say the N-word with an M because it's a banned word in my chat twice. And then you get banned. I'm not unbanning you. 
I'm sorry. Pooper for the 600 bitties. I don't know if my be uh, other bits went through, but I'll give more just in case. All right. I mean, I got an unbanned uh, stream Thursday, so if you want to submit an unbanned request, you can. But uh, generally speaking, the N-word is never unbannable in my chat. Unless, like, like there's, like, mods of mine that are black that have said the N-word, like, one time in my chat. I've let it slide because I know they're black. But, like, I tell even them they're not allowed to say it, right? It's a, even if you're black, you can't say the N-word in my chat because there's no definitive way of knowing whether or not you're telling the truth, right? If I let you say the N-word in my chat, if you said you were black, so many white people would just say they're black and then just say the N-word. Like, I can't prove that, right? Like, you would, you're would, you probably some pasty kid that's like, oh, no, uh, yeah, I'm black, and then you're going to say it. Because, like, I can't tell what your race is by your username. Stonky for the 27 months sub. So I have to ban you. So that's why it's not allowed. Same thing. It's just a blanketed rule. That's, yeah. like, that's like two grand right there. Oh, yeah. The cosmetics are not cheap. No, they are not. So, all right. All right. So, yeah, let us know if you guys just come across. No. Um, just let all us right, know. Uh, by the way, before I walk back outside, could I get a, could I get a Powerball ticket? If you come across anything else that she had some other stuff in there that looked like um, it had at least been opened and, like, used. So, okay. and, like, just, like, used, like, one time. Yeah. So, if you come across anything that. Right, that's fine. We're good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You bet. Um, all that stuff was theirs. Did you see Mr. Beast is releasing your video if you buy Feastables? Chat, answer. Um, I, ma'am, I see that you you scratched your chin a little bit. Uh, do you need to go to the hospital or get medical attention? Okay, are you injured at all? Yeah, I am, but I don't How are you injured? We watched the video already. No, we did not. No, we did not. We did not watch the burger video. I can't watch it till they stop selling the bars with the QR code. Okay. Do you need medical attention at all tonight? No. no? Okay. There's your answer. Thanks. Yep. Need anything else for her? You don't. Uh, she's also bad for her, so. Oh, sweet. No. Perfect. She has no longer. item. Please, public officer, right? Adelie was charged with two counts of felony threat to a law enforcement officer. Misdemeanor counts of retail theft and resisting an officer. She was released the following day on a $1,000 signature bond. Almost two months later, Adelie failed to appear in court and a bench warrant was issued. You, how do you fail to appear in court? She ended up being apprehended the following week for retail theft once more. For that case, she was released on a $500 signature bond. Since then, Adel Lee has been arrested seven more times for offenses such as disorderly conduct, threat and bodily harm to a healthcare provider, battery, and numerous drug-related charges. As seven times? Dude, if you've gotten arrested more than three times, it's just like, well, here we go again. Like, it's not even a big deal. Like, you've just been, uh, like, you've been in handcuffs fucking ten times. Oh my God. I got to pass before we go to the next video. You know, for the sub of Saki, thank you for the 27 month sub, bro. All right. Um, uh, count me down 30 seconds. Run into the bathroom. Next video. I investigated the world's largest slum, Tyler Oliveira, four days ago. Ooh. Ooh. 
That one looks safe. Uh, look for the three hundred For one billion dollars, would you stay in completely dark and sensory deprived for a, a room for a month? No, you would go insane. Sensory deprived room, completely dark as well. Dude, most people can't last like fifteen minutes in there. I investigated the world's largest slum. This is Dharavi, the most densely populated slum in the world, with seven hundred seventeen thousand people per. Wow, seven hundred seventeen thousand people per square mile. Square mile is the largest slum in Asia. For comparison, the state of Texas has around one hundred and ten people per square mile. Wyoming has four. 60% of Mumbai's 24 million people live in slums like Dharavi, while billionaires live How do you fit 717,000 people in a square mile? Like, could you put them that close to each other? Pork for the fringe buddies. Wyoming isn't real. Right across the street. Yep. One guy lives here with an average income of 40 to 150 dollars a month. Oh how do the people God. manage to survive here? Are they happy? And what could be done to fix this? So I met up with Rahul, born and raised in the Ravi, to take me through the slums and understand how this place even exists. How you doing? Good to meet you. Mumbai is the richest city in India. It is. It is. Out of the 24 million people, 60 percent people live in the slum area. We're entering the slums yeah. right now. You can see. So I see people walking on these tracks. What's going on there? They do not have a toilet facility. So sometimes they comes on this track for the toilet. That's one side of the river, and then look at this. This is another side. Look, look. That's crazy. That can't be good for the planet, right? That water's gotta be really dirty. It is. That's water? That's water. Bro, that just looks like a trash pile. It is. That's a, so much trash. Only five minutes in, as we begin to cross this river of trash, I noticed the seemingly self-constructed homes everywhere in this slum. People build their own homes here? Yes, they build their own house, but actually, those who are residents, they can, they don't know how to build their own house. So we have a local uh, builder here. This guy's just asleep or what? Yeah, he's just sleeping. Actually, some of the people in the Dharavi are quite alcoholic people. Okay, look at this. Is this a what? bad area or a good area? Yeah, but like you, okay, you build your own house. Do you not have to own property here? Area of the slums. It's like a normal area. It's not a better area. Oh my God, dude. Like imagine just living here, bro. Like it would suck. I can say. So in a Slumdog Millionaire movie, there are like a few kids are running. Uh, so they were running on that water bike. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go down and check it out. Rahul, I see a lot of flies and it smells pretty bad. Yeah. So what is this right here? This is a, like a pee and a water. Like open sewage? Actually, the local people who drink a local alcohol. Should we take a look over here? Uh, let's go. Okay. This is under construction. What are they building? They are like an underground switch they are building here. For the like a drainage. Yeah. So if we were to walk through here, do we run the risk of getting diseases? Uh, you, you might get sick. Sick with what diseases? Uh, like uh, malaria. Malaria? Hasn't malaria killed more people than any other illness ever? Like, malaria is the leading cause of death for humans of all time. Like, worse than cancer. What's malaria? It's a disease that is usually harbored in mosquitoes. Malaria death number all time. In the 20th century alone, right, malaria claimed between 150 million to 300 million lives. Malaria has killed, the general claim is that malaria has killed half of all the humans that have ever lived. Wow. And it's a mosquito-borne fever, so you get stung. Uh, or not, not like stung by wasp. You get bitten, uh, and then you get it. It's half of the humans ever. Wow, how many people have ever lived? How many humans have ever lived? 117 billion. So what? 50, no, it'd be 58, around 58, 58.5 billion people have died to malaria. 58.5 manifest. Bart for the sub. That is crazy. Yours for the 300 bitties. I asked for the sub uh, and yours for the sub. Uh, it's not, malaria isn't a thing in the United States, right? So if you live in the U.S., uh, I'm pretty sure you can't even get malaria anywhere here. 
but in countries uh, like Africa, or not countries like Africa, countries in Africa um, that are more, like, poverty-strucken and have a lot of, like, loose ponds with a lot of mosquitoes, uh, or not loose ponds, like stagnant ponds of, like, dirty water where mosquitoes are born very rapidly, um, you can get malaria from those mosquitoes. Not all of them, but some of them. That's why when you go to... Um, like poverty stricken countries or just even a foreign country in general, even if they're not like poverty stricken, you sometimes need to get shots. Africa country. I corrected myself. I said countries in Africa, not Africa. I said not the country of Africa, countries in Africa. Africa's a fucking continent. Anyways, um, you know, like, have you ever gone somewhere to a different country where you need to get shots to go there? That's why not for malaria specifically, but just a disease that isn't known to your area that they might have. Like HIV? No. Uh, HIV is a sexually transmittable disease. Uh, that is AIDS. Uh, you do not have a shot for AIDS. Uh, you can't get AIDS from just being in the air with someone. Pretty bad. Uh, uh, it's not that bad. So we are in a commercial area right now. Here you would see the more business and less right. family. Um, so I have a question. If I already eat the food, would I get sick? You 100% get sick. Thank you. <laughs> you would 100% get sick. Uh, yeah, let me get uh, number one, three, five, and, uh, and a number eight. Tastes good. Coconut water in hand, Rahul took me to one of the Ravi's largest industries. This you can see here, these are the plastic here. Recycling. The plastic come from the like a dump, plastic come from the like, it come from the industries, plastic come from the street. They are taking off the plastic, they are uh, unloading plastic from the temples. Uh, after shutting out this plastic, they will send this plastic to the another industry who will crush it. So how much do they get paid per day? Uh, they get paid like a 500 rupees, 700 rupees a day. Okay. And they Eight dollars a day. And, like, I understand the cost of living there is probably way less than, like, the United States. But there's no way, even if the cost of living is dr drastically low, $8 a day. What is that a year? If you're working every day. That's three, not even three grand a year. Not even three grand a year. Jimmy for the sub. They work like 10 hours, 11 hours a day. So that's below average wages? It is. Poverty? It is, yeah. Call me Mr. Beast for the day. Want some money? <laughs> Take the money. Take the money. Why not? This is the crushing machine here. Where are they crushing the plastic? They're crushing the plastic. Super dusty air. That can't be good to breathe in. It is. That's still there working inside. That's definitely lung cancer right there. It is, yeah. What's going on here? Wait, what? They're just working in smoke? That's still there working. They're crushing the plastic. They're crushing the plastic. Super dusty air. That can't be good to breathe in. It is. That's still there working inside. That's definitely lung cancer right there. It is, yeah. What's going on here? There's again aluminum. There's the aluminum. So right aluminum, there. plastic. Yeah. And then you go upstairs to go to sleep. The working conditions here are brutal. And the average pay for backbreaking labor is around $500 to $2,000 a year. But the reason these people work these jobs is because they often come from other surrounding countries that are even poorer with even less. Even poorer less job opportunities. Hey. So here, uh, there is another where uh, another industry where they're making a clothing, and this clothes goes to the local street market. Uh, here you can see uh, people make such kind of trousers. Pretty nice. Yeah. And then Rahul took me to the soap business. Hi. This is where they make soap. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty dark in here. Breathe through your mouth. Yeah. Knowing you, you're gonna be yeah, this... Soap even made of. This is a soap factory. This is intense. Working conditions are seem pretty tough, yeah? It is, it is. But for sure Bangladesh, yeah, Bangladesh is like a very poor country. And it's very, I think it's, that's the most densely populated country. But somebody said, is there, I, I read the comment, but I didn't say anything because I wanted to finish like what they were saying in the video before I paused. But somebody asked, is there anything us Americans could do to help them? I mean, yeah, there's like charities and things that you could donate to to try and help, but like, Fixing an entire country's poverty level is like a system thing that needs to change, coupled with the fact that, like, India as a whole is so densely populated that, like, getting that many people good jobs, good places to live, and just, like, a stable income is a really hard task to just say, oh, let's just shove money at them. 
like that that won't solve the problem, right? I, are there more people in India now than China? I know their population is climbing compared. Yeah, there's more. Oh no, they're almost equal. India has 1.408 billion people. China has 1.412, and India is a smaller country. Christian for the five gifteds. Thank you for the five gifteds, Christian. CR for the three inch buddies. This dude talks about disease so casually. Uh, yeah, because he's probably so used to it. Jimmy for the sub. And Christian, thank you for the five gifteds. Bakers making per day. Same, same amount, like uh, 700, 800 rupees something. They cut it here from this uh, big uh, soap, uh, cube. And then from this break, they, with the help of this small machine, cutting machine, they make a small, small piece. Color one USD, you can buy the 84 soap. Okay. Thank you. 84 soap? Cheers. Bye. As I walked away, smothering my skin in sunscreen and mosquito repellent, I heard a religious chant echo in the distance. Oh, what's happening? Who's singing? The Maharaja. No, no, uh, there's a mosque here. Okay, so, Muslim. Uh, You're not Muslim. You're Hindu. I'm Hindu, yes. But we all live together here in Dharabi. Peace and harmony? Very, very peaceful. It's from this wood, they make a Hindu temple. And this temple is made by the Muslim guys. Muslim guys making the Hindu temple. The Hindu temple. So you guys get along that way. What is the most common religion in India? Because I, I know they have a lot of religions. In, in India, a lot of people are Muslim, uh, Hindu, Christian, and Buddhist. India, most common religions. It's Hinduism, but there's so many subsects of Hinduism. Yeah, Hinduism, then Muslim, then Christian, uh, then Sikh, then Buddhist, uh, Jain, and other religion. Porsche for the sub. Well, yeah. so uh, in each and every house, the family keep the small shrine. Tell me about these gods here. This god are belonging from the Muslim family, as uh, and this, the god are as a pet. The living conditions were tight, and people lived everywhere. Just look at all these houses in this one alley. But the people are creative out here, and you'll see industries and homes stacked on top of each other vertically. Pottery is a main business in this uh, neighborhood. Here. Yeah, this is, uh, crazy. this is not perfect, harder, but it's, it's still we can is a touchable. You can yes. Pretty hard. And uh, he, this is his like a uh, childhood business. He's been doing it since he was a kid? Yeah, since he, he was, even his father worked on the same business. True master. Uh, yeah, he's a master. Look at that, he's fast with it too. This is pretty mesmerizing. For, wow. For hour, he make the 300 piece. Uh, he sell this for the three, uh, three rupees. Literally identical. You want three to see pennies? Oh, they all look exactly the same. You want to try how he's making it? Sure, get my hands. After making the worst pot in Indian history. Oh! We had something! I realized how lucky I was to spawn in a much richer country. On top of the general poverty out here, the surrounding environment- How do you live on $8 a day, though? Like, if you had $8 a day in the U.S., you would die. Like, you would die of starvation. Like, if nobody was giving you food? It was heavily polluted. This looks very polluted. It is polluted. That has poop in there, right? Yeah. Okay, the smell's definitely starting to get on me. It's hot as balls out here. All right, now we're going to check out the leather industry. Oh. So here they make a leather- No, you wouldn't. I mean, what could you buy with $8? Like, if you're living on $8 a day in the U.S., you would need water, and then, I mean, you could use public water, but, I mean, here they can't. But, like, water and then, like, rice. McDonald's? Dude, a McDonald's would not... You Okay, yeah, you could eat McDonald's, then you'll die in 10 years of eating fucking McDonald's every single day. You'd be homeless. Well, no shit. TJ for the three. I feel like visiting India would be fun. Since our money is super strong there and everybody has to learn English uh, in India to find employment, it would be a good tourist spot. Uh, I've watched a lot of videos of people touring India. There's a lot of good places you could tour. And I think it is a nice area. People in India are generally pretty nice. They might try and scam you because you're a fucking tourist, but you're not going to get, like, there and then have a terrible time. Like, you might have a good time. You would probably have a good time in India. I've never been there, so I, don't, I can't really tell from personal experience. But a lot of foreign countries, when they hear you're when they hear you're an American and they see they they hear and see your American accent, you're gonna get scammed, right? Just because they know like you don't understand how much things cost, where to go, their language, so they could just screw you. It might not be screwing you in your eyes, right? Because if you're in America, how much does a taxi cost or an Uber ride, right? An Uber ride might be like twenty, thirty bucks, right? Depending on where you're going. If you're there, they might charge you 20 bucks, right? But it doesn't actually cost 20 bucks to get a taxi in India. TJ for the three. I'm getting scared I got that dog in me. What? 
products like a bag, belt, and then they here. wash here. They have our own company that the company name is the Dharavi. The Ravi brand is a worldwide famous leather. Photo scams the worst. I've seen one guy. Do you know? Do y'all know who Bald and Bankrupt is? He's this YouTuber that does a lot of travel channel stuff. I watched him in India one time, and there was a guy. This dude. There was a guy that followed him around. He he just like goes to the. I, he's a really cool YouTube channel. Just shout to him. Uh, he goes to like all these different countries and he just kind of vlogs himself. He's this British guy and he speaks like 10 different languages. And he like, he goes to India all the time. And there's a lot of like scam artists that like try and get money from him. And one thing they'll do is follow you until you pay them to leave you alone. <laughs> and there's this one video guy i feel like i gotta find it there's this avoid this guy yeah there's this one guy it's like a four minute video he just follows him he doesn't offer him anything he just follows him and asks for money and won't leave him alone for like hours until he pays him and he doesn't pay him he says in the video he says i'm not paying this fucking guy and he just keeps walking and eventually the guy gives up because he walks like five miles. Watch it. I'll watch part of it. Here the business here, yeah? And you I'm saying I've not got money and he's saying, yes, you have. It's in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is determined. This guy is so determined. He's still here with me. Sir, but money. Why are you following me? Right. You. Up. Mira Saad. You. I'm going to call this guy Mr. 100 rupees. 100 rupees is like nothing. But it's just the principle of you having to pay this guy to leave you alone is so fucking annoying. 100 rupees is pennies. I think it's like a dollar. So rupee, mira pas, me hai. Are ya bhai? What's your name? Give me a hundred rupees. Hey, listen, dude. You're not getting anything, but he's refusing to leave me alone. I would ignore him. Just because, like, I it's just the principle of, like, I would give people money and, like, tip people and shit. But, like, if your whole job is to just follow tourists around and bitch at them for money... Like, that'd be really annoying. Kieran McClunky for the sub flow for the 400 biddies. And what if you give him a dollar? What if you give him a dollar and then he just keeps asking for more money? It's only a dollar. It's a dollar and 21 cents. Yeah. And he refuses to give it to him. It's because it's not like I'll watch Bald and Bankrupt's videos. He'll give people a lot of money. Like he'll buy like a, a $1 item and then give them like 10 bucks and just walk away. But it's like this guy's just following him. Float for the 400 bitties. Can you please listen to my favorite song? It's lines with... No, I'm not listening to a song. See Freedom for the 500 bitties. You're my favorite stream. I watch you every night after work. You help me through so much. Dub. Ram for the sub. Brand. This guy's taking a photo right here. The Ravi. The Ravi is a brand. It's no more slum. He says no longer a slum brand. I've heard about this worldwide before I came here. It's a concept. This brand we are not selling online in Mumbai also. Because we like to people visit the Ravi then they buy. Okay. It's related our place. I like it. But they got the heart right here. Branding 101. They're just, they're smart with it. I'd seen my first big entrepreneurial success story in the slums. But everyone else was barely surviving out here. Uh, do they know about the people that are super rich in India? Not everybody, but some of the, the new generation people know about that. For context, only a few miles away from the slums is where the mega rich in India live. Like Juhu Beach. Lamborghini. Why is this place famous? Do you know? Is it like a rich area or something like that? Yes. Uh, every rich people stays here. It's like the equivalent of Santa Monica in California. We're visiting India. Here, I have a gift for you There's guys. There's still trash on the beach. Guys, you guys keep that? And I didn't realize poverty was just as bad in these rich areas because when I handed out five bucks, I got swarmed and chased nonstop by these kids. Oh, oh, I hit a full on sprint. It's asking for more. Okay. That's all I got for now. That's all I got for now. That's all I got for now. All right, see you guys. The effects of poverty seem to be present all throughout India. Some had money and some had nothing. I gotta go. I'm too quick. This you go, all right? <laughs> They're chasing all right. him. Oh, boy. 
And just a quick drive away is the famous billionaire Mukesh Ambani's 27-story house that costs him over a billion dollars. Right next to Beverly Hills of India, Malabar Hill. I want to see uh, Beverly Hills of India. No, no. Not allowed? Yeah. I'm too poor? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do rich people live here? Yeah, he's governor. Governor. Oh, governor. Oh, I'm too poor to go here. What? Governor of Maharashtra. Okay, right on. Uh, powerful people? Yeah. This place is a lush. And then this is when Tom Brady and his kid walk in. Is that is that Tom Brady and his son? We can't get in because we're so low level. Now that I saw the rich side of India, I headed back to- Why does he look like that? Because he's not a real person. Uh, he's a skinwalker. Navi ...to check out Rahul's house. And I met this kid who knew me. You know me from YouTube? Yeah. Really? Yep. Okay, you're from Dharavi. Thanks for nice watching. You. Oh, you know me from YouTube. Really? What's my fucking name then, pal? Thank you. I like your channel. Hey, well, thank you so much. I'm thank honored. You. Thank you for watching. Yeah, subscribe to Tyler. Okay. So maybe oh, a big- he does know him. Dub. Hand him $10. Misconception for people that watch this on the internet that it's like not safe, but I feel really safe and everyone's really friendly here. Yeah, uh, so that you 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 never understand out from the outside of the Dharavi. Once you get in, you would come to know, you would feel it, and that you can see how safe it is. So these kids go to school that are playing around, being happy. Uh, yeah, they are happy. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. Hey, hey. Where are you from? I'm from the United States. <laughs> I like you. Yeah. yeah Good to meet you. Good Shit. to meet you. Yeah, bye. All right. See you. Bye. How you guys doing? Hey. Yeah, yeah, everyone, yeah. Are you guys playing cricket? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I want to play. I have no idea how to play fucking cricket. Y'all know how to play cricket? All I know is there's a stick behind you, and then they chuck a ball, and you're supposed to hit it with a mallet. It's like a weird version of baseball. Yeah. Is everyone happy here? Yeah, everybody is happy. That Tyler just nails someone in the head. He just fucking hits a... A goddamn fucking step swing. Fucking bam, just nails that shit. Hit somebody in the back of the head. Is everyone happy here? Yeah, everybody is happy. That you can see that they don't have everything, still they are happy. Why is that? Because um, they feel that the life is too short, be happy all the time. And then we finally made it to Rahul's house. Damn, that's a good motto. Like living here? Uh, I do like because this neighborhood is quite different neighborhood than another part of Dharavi. And he's my son here. Is your son? Yeah, Vedic. Hey! And she's my mom. Hey, how you doing? Fair. So this, is, this was my dream bike, now I own it. Okay, I'm proud of you. Congrats, it's sick. So she's oh. my sister-in-law here. Hello. He's my father here. Hey! Feels good in here, you got AC. It's a nice place you have here. Uh, yes, yeah, I... I, I yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh... I do have a better life. Uh, when I see the other people, though, like jo homeless people, and then there are the, those people who have a very really small house, they do not have air condition. At that time, I feel better. I feel lucky myself that I have a. Yeah, I feel like that's such a W mindset, though. Just realize that your life is short, so why be fucking pissed? Why be sad all the time? Or just like sitting, thinking about how you could be in a better scenario. Like, obviously, strive towards a better scenario, but like, you're in the situation you're in, you can't change it. I feel like that's also kind of stoicism to a degree. Now I'm getting philosophical, but I feel like that's just kind of the stoic outlook on things. Like you're in a situation you're in, deal with it. This kind of house, give back to the community as well. I help or other people. Or Buddhism? Well, that's, that's a religion. I'm saying stoicism is more like kind of a belief set rather than like Buddhism, the religion. Uh, and he's Hindu, not Buddhist. Um... As well in yeah. And Rahul then explained that he started a school to give the kids in the slums the same opportunity to build a better life like he did for himself. This is my classroom, so whatever the tour amount we get paid from the tourists, we give back to the community. The students come from the Dharavi, it's free of course, and they study here in the air condition. So we distribute this notebook free of course. It changes your community out here. <laughs> yeah, because education is the most important thing to change life. So there are the many students, they can't afford it. Okay, Rahul. Oh my god, I love this guy. 
Nah, that's big. I already like the video. I like that you keep so the kids happy. educated. Here's like a month's worth of tip to do whatever you want with it. But yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for this uh, support. For every T-shirt sold this month, we're gonna send Rahul's school a notebook and pen. Lately, most of my videos are getting demonetized, which means we make next to nothing on a lot of these videos. Yeah, I mean, I understand why his videos are getting demonetized. I mean, the the React video. I'm going to make a reactive video to that one. That definitely gets demonetized. I've done some reacts to Tyler that have gotten demonetized. It's just the topics he covers aren't really ad-friendly a lot of the time. This one might be, but, like, I investigated the city where every drug is legal. Dude, he pulls mad views now. I think he's actually... I think Tyler is genuinely... I'm going to say this. And I know, I know I used to make fun of Tyler all the time. I still think he's a bit cringe. I think Tyler is genuinely a good YouTuber now. I think he is actually a good YouTuber. I think he makes great content. I love watching his videos. I love watching his videos. Anybody remember this shit? Like his old fucking like, can you bench press a thousand pounds underwater? Digging a hole to China. Like now he makes like more of the documentary based shit. It is so good, dude. So much better. 10 million views on the real life zombie video. Wow. All right. Next video. Ear pulling contest. Steam for the sub. Poker for the sub. Beans for the sub. TJ for the three buddies. Uh, if I went, I would be able to finally get a girlfriend. What? Will for the sub. Christian for the three buddies. Uh, Kieran and McClunky for the sub. Uh, we talked about this after slap fights. This is a three minute video here. It's about ear pulling. Uh, it's apparently a contest where they attach. Uh, some sort of, it looks like a rubber band, but it's not some sort of thing to each of their ears and they pull until somebody gives up. I feel like you gotta have like a bony ear. Oh, no. oh my God, what if your ear just gets fucking sliced off? Imagine your ear rips off. Yeah, it just fucking cinches your ear up. His ear turned purple. This looks dangerous. It probably is. Damn, she gave up so fast. I mean, if you're going to enter an ear pulling contest, you might as well go all out, right? Ready, set, pull. How do you get into doing this? How do you how do you determine that you're going to be good at ear pulling? Pull. Oh my god, dude, they're going to fucking rip is she bleeding? Yeah, why are they doing this? Dude, they're sitting in like a high school. They're sitting in like a high school gymnasium. <laughs> that guy, that guy just sitting there bored as hell. turned so purple their ear turned so fucking purple oh my god how is that safe like it looks like it could cut his ear off if they pulled hard enough Covering my screen? Yeah, this is rough. Now let's try it with a steel wire. A steel wire, somebody would definitely have their ear cut off. No doubt. But it looks like they're using some sort of like rubber material. 
All right. The button that makes your date disappear. Then we have new army cadets go through in the first six weeks of West Point and three, creep, three creepy true horror stories. Uh, beans for the sub, Steam for the sub, Poker for the sub. We haven't watched a button video in a while. Goddamn button video. When did this one come out? Nine days ago? Dylan. Oh. He loves guns. Indeed, Ooh. I do. Yeah. That's not a fun fact to know. Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new- I'm gonna say this. I shot a gun. I shot multiple guns for the first time when I was in Wyoming. It's fun. Overrated. I'd rather drive a go-kart. I'd rather drive a go-kart, right? Uh, it's like, it's fun, right? Like you're you're shooting a gun and you get to like hit targets, but like I'd rather I'd rather just drive a really fast fucking vehicle. Like I'd rather I'd rather just Mario Kart the fuck out of some shit. You know what I mean? Just go drifting in a fucking go kart. Like that's more fun. Crazy for the sub. New person. Get out of here. Did you get a haircut? Yeah, I got a really short. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, it went in all expenses. You were paid. shooting the wrong things then. If you're trying, if you're trying to say like hunting, okay. But like, if you're trying to like make a joke about killing people. Second date. This is the button. Oh, hi. What's your name? Flex. Flex? I'm Farron. Farron? Yeah, friends call me side room. Okay, so wait, why do they call you Side Rail? Side Rail? Something I came up when I was like in seventh grade. That's my username on Instagram. Yeah. It's kind of like a <laughs> like a gamer tag ish thing. I don't know. Look at each other. What do you think? I like your tattoos. They're very clean. Yeah, I like your. Bro, still referenced by his gamer tag. I have not been called by my gamer tag in fucking forever. When I was in middle school, bro, you had your fucking long ass 20, 20 cent, not 20 sentence, 20 fucking letter gamer tag. Somebody redeemed Daisy Showcase. Oh my God. Coming out 30 seconds. Dude, I always kiss dogs' noses. Do y'all kiss dogs' noses? I have to. I have to. You just, you just smush their face. Joe Bar for the sub. Thank you. Rate each other on a scale of one to ten. You go first. Me or the ladies first, bro? <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a heart. Wow, bro. Wow. Eight. Hard eight? What is a hard eight? Mean? Only because I don't know how old you are. Uh huh. I don't know. Well, I want to say, like, say you're like 24 or 25. 24? Maybe. Yeah. Are you 24? I'm 20. Oh, shit. <laughs> how old are you? I'm 28. You're 28? Yeah. It's not bad. She no, I know not it's not. look 28. Not bad. It's just you can't drink. <laughs> it's funny because like people always like. Oh, uh, he could drink it a year. Oh, uh, he could drink it a year. We're in a foreign country. Older. And then some people think I'm like younger. Like it's weird. Yeah. Like, I mean, you definitely like, like you have like, like nice skin, but you have like a really like manly build. So yeah. I feel like like you look pretty grown, but also I feel weird saying that. Yeah. So like I don't know. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> Yo, he had the fastest fucking switch up I've ever seen. Oh my god, that was the fastest press ever. 
I don't know. It's just like she was slowly going for that. Yeah, call him the Flash. That motherfucker. Bang. Yeah. Wow. Yo, he almost broke the fucking button. Ow. <laughs> he broke the button. Karen, why did you reject her? No, well, because I saw her hand going. And it was the age, too. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Yeah, see you later. Have a good Yeah, no, see like... you later, loser. Take that fucking L. Maybe get a better reaction time, buddy. You ever play Call of Duty, bitch? Oh, my God. Yeah, have a good rest of your day, too. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Leah. Leah? I'm Farron. What is it? Farron. Nice to meet you. He's gonna get his bitch ass pressed, bro. You already know he's gonna get his bitch ass pressed. In a fucking second. He's gonna say, yeah, my name's Farron. Uh, but you know, you could call me uh, Gamerman157. Uh, it's my gamer tag from Xbox 360. I used to be a menace at uh, Black Ops 2. Uh, so my friends still call me Gamerman. Nice to meet you. I should probably start off by saying that, like, I am hard of hearing. So. No, you're good. <laughs> I kind of am too, because I used to work at the airport. And, really? Yeah, I didn't really like have my hearing protection on all the time. Oh so. uh, yeah, I'm kind of hard of hearing too. That'd be so fucked up if he did that. Just letting you know, I'm hard of hearing. Do you also have hearing loss? No, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Yeah. I'm always like. Can you say that one more time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do read lips, uh -huh. and I feel like that kind of, like, helps for... Is she hard of hearing in the sense, like, she can't hear at all, or she's deaf? I would assume she's not deaf. She probably has just lost a lot of her hearing. Intimacy sometimes. <laughs> That's crazy. So, like, how'd you, like, pick that up? Like... Lip reading? Lip reading, yeah. It's natural. I started to just, like, notice that I was reading lips more, and then now I I can read lips pretty good, but I got a cochlear implant recently as well that it helps so much. Mm, that's cool. You know those people that can lag talk? That would be nuts. The people, what are, like, I, you ever see those videos on TikTok where they'll move their lips, but they talk, like, they say a word, and then they'll move their lips? I can do that, really? How do you learn how to do that? Bob and currently for the sub, Joe Bart's for the sub. That's good that you got that. What's so, lag talking? It's like when I'm speaking right now, you see my lips moving in accordance to the words that I'm saying, right? But some people know how to say words without moving their lips, how you would normally say that word. And then they'll move their lips with the word that they said like five seconds after they say it. So they'll say a sentence, but every word is like behind. Yeah. That's good that you got that. Yeah. 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 Why shouldn't someone date either of you? You, you go first. I okay, didn't think about first. it. Ah, oh, shoot. Why so much? I have to be really real with myself. I don't know. I guess that's something I could say. I'm pretty real, like, like blunt. I like uh, bluntness. Yeah, I, I like, like maybe bluntness. like, I feel like I could hurt someone's feelings. But like, I'm really like sarcastic and like, oh, I, like funny. So I don't know. I love roasts and I love to like be roasted because I just think it's like, it's really funny. And I like to make like spontaneous your mom jokes. Yeah. <laughs> That's good, that's good. Like The Office, have you seen The Office? Yeah, I have My mom! I haven't seen it in a while, but yeah, I like The Office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just like, ah. <laughs> no. Okay, why did you button me? Like, I don't feel like we match, you know what I mean? That, that That's okay. Yeah, no, I can't I see myself walking, like, down the street with you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Farron. Nice to meet you. Suck My name in 2015, Jess. dude, your mom jokes are before 2015. Your mom jokes are like 2010. Jasmine? Yeah. Jasmine, is Farron your type? He's one of the types. He could be one of the types. Fun fact about Farron, he is Mormon. Okay. Yeah. What was like that growing up? My first question is, do you soak? If you're on a speed date and the, they say they're Mormon, are you required to do soaking? Like, is that how... What is Mormon? It's a, a subsect of Christianity. Well, I grew up in Utah, so it was like pretty normal. Mormonism coming... is, you're, if you're a Mormon, you are Christian. But it's like, if you're in a broad Christian religion, you could also still be Catholic, Protestant, uh, Anglican, uh, Seventh-day Adventist, Mormon. There's a bunch of, there's a bunch. What is soaking? Mormons aren't allowed 
to have oh, I don't know oh, I don't know if it's just Mormons but I'm pretty sure it's just Mormons but Mormon soaking also known as marinating or floating is a sexual practice of inserting the blank into the blank but not thrusting and then you have another person jump on the bed so it's kind of like a loophole right where you're not allowed to actually move because the act of moving with the sex is what's considered sinful. But just being there is not. I regret asking. You asked. You know, like, you can't be mad at me because you did ask. What the actual fuck? One source stated it was difficult to know how common it is because of the secrecy and shame around sex in Latter-day Saints Church, and an underreported bias in social desirability bias among even anonymous surveys uh, stigmatized sexual behaviors in a common issue. But there's like a bunch of people on TikTok. What's that one Mormon college? BSU or some shit? BYU. Yeah, like, there's a few, like, I see a bunch of TikToks of people that go to BYU that say, like, they helped their friends soak or some shit. Like, I don't care how good of a friend I am with someone. I am never jumping on the bed for y'all. Like, I'm saying that right, the, right the fuck now, right? Like, I do not care if we've been besties for life, bro. I am not jumping on the bed for you. Never. Trev for the sub. Here, it was just a big culture shock, and like, I guess it was just like really controversial to a lot of people. But What's I've, the controversial part? They think we're like praising either the the prophet of Mormon or. Uh, Only if I get a turn, stop. Jo Joseph Smith, the dude that wrote the book. Uh, we're trying to focus on Christ, so like okay. that's why we stray away from it. What's the most sinful thing you've ever done? The most sinful thing I've ever done? I don't know. I'm not really like a bad guy. Yeah. Oh no. Sorry. Why'd you reject Farron? Kind of sounds like you don't really know what you're looking for. And it also kind of sounds like you're still exploring and trying to figure out like who you are, like who you want to be. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you later. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Have a good rest of your day. You too. What's your name? Jasmine. Ben. Ben. Yes. All right. So, what are some of your hobbies? Ben. Bend over. <laughs> he gets insta pressed. Oh, hobbies. I love. My name's Ben. Bend over. Hike. Okay. Like going on walks, hikes. I like walking with my friend. Fun fact about Ben: he writes bad raps. Oh yeah. Emphasis on bad. I will say that. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to hear? Yeah. That? Yeah. Should I go off the top. Give me something to rap about. The button. The button. Yes, the button. Yeah, I'm blanking all the time right now. Yeah, no, I'm losing it all. <laughs> it's like on the spot, I'm losing it. Jasmine, he's a has been. He can't rap, but I got you. Cause I got you, not been. We can, we can talk about something else. I'm freaking all my raps right now. Are you religious? No, I think there's definitely some good viewpoint, like it's a good focal lens to look through life, but I'm not personally religious. Uh, what about you? Um, I am. I am Christian, okay. and that's something that I definitely want to like raise my children in. I think anything for the benefit of the children, right? I mean, the whole reason that uh, I'd like to go and do anything. That's a big, that's a big, compl like being with somebody that's a different religion than you is one thing, but having one person in the relationship concretely say that they want their ch children to be raised in their religion is a hard conversation to have, right? Me and Brooke work well in the sense that her and I are both kind of agnostic. I mean, we have our, like, separate, like, like spiritual beliefs from one another. But, like, my general plan is to just raise my child with no religious belief and then introduce it to them when they can make their own concrete opinion. It's very hard for somebody that's, like, six years old to understand and grasp uh, the end of life, an afterlife, God, and any spiritual, like, ideologies. So waiting until they're old enough to be able to make their own decisions without any biased thing pushing them towards one way uh, is something I want to do. Um, I was raised Catholic, but 
I'm no longer Catholic, but I mean, like I would want to raise my kid as, as nothing and then introduce them to like every world major religion. And then they can either pick one of them or none of them. It's up to them. Lorenzo from the three inch Bitties. In my opinion, that's the way I would want to raise my child. Would you be a good dad? I really do want to be a good father. Uh, cause I, I grew up with divorce. Oh my God. Now we're getting into a fucking personal conversation here. I grew up with divorced parents since I was like one. Right. So I kind of want to be the, the good dad. Right. Without, I ain't really like, like, I still love my father, but like, I didn't really have like my dad that much in my life. What's the best philosophy book or text you've ever read? Uh, Plato's Republic is generally the best thing to start with. The coolest book I've ever read, uh, is a very short book. Ugh, I don't know. Like, there's some pretty good ones with Schopenhauer. Nietzsche's Good and Evil's Good. I also like Nietzsche's God is Dead, uh, Will Remain Dead and We Killed Him. That's a good one. It's a very sad book. Uh, and if you believe in God, it's a kind of a hard read, right? Because he says some shit that pisses people off. But TJ for the three inch minis, is that not a good time to date somebody when they haven't figured themselves out yet? Couldn't you grow with them? Not really. I mean, the whole point is you, you are supposed to find yourself alone. And then you can find yourself more and grow more with a partner. But if you're going into a relationship when you don't even know who you are, then you become dependent on your partner, which is bad, right? You want to be in a relationship self-sustaining. Your partner should not make you. Your partner should not make your personality. Your partner should not make you who you are. Um, and so if you don't know who you are and you're going to be dependent on your partner, that's a problem. Uh, Let's and David for the sub. Just that's really valid? Yeah. I mean, that's how you get into a good relationship. There's a lot of people that are like uh, relationship jumpers and they go from one person to the next. When you get out of a relationship, you need time to refine yourself. That's definitely like a deal breaker, but you're a really sweet guy. And I would love to hear your raps like if when you're more phone, comfortable. You. Yeah. It was a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> um, how's your week been? What's been like the highlight? It's, it's my birthday week. Really? When's yes. your birthday? Mm. Ugh. Ugh, don't care. Ugh, don't care. When people tell me it's their birthday, tell me when it's your birthday. When it's your birth week, I don't give a fuck, okay? Bob Ross, it's not Bob Ross. It's my birth week. Your birthday was six fucking days ago, okay, pal? It's not your fucking birthday anymore. You don't got no that goddamn celebration for your fucking birth week. Your birthday is the one that you celebrate. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mine is today. No way! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is better than yours. Which is better than yours. Happy birthday to him. I'm not saying shit to you. Happy birthday! Thank you, likewise. Are you celebrating? Yeah, today? so I'm doing this. I'm giving myself the gift of opportunity to connect with people. And then tonight I'm having This guy seems so chill. This guy seems so chill. And he also looks like Bob Ross. So I love him. Birthday party as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. What are you doing for yours? I'm going to go to church, and then I'll go have lunch with my friends, cool. and then finish the night off with my family. Oh, I love that. A good family friend. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I plan on soloing a bag of ketamine, so, I mean, I think we kind of differ here on what we're going to do on birthday celebration, but uh, nevertheless, um, happy, happy early birthday, but, uh, you know, I'm just letting you know I'm going to be on another planet tonight <laughs> when I tell you I'm going to be seeing, seeing some different creatures that don't exist today. Have fun, have fun, uh, have fun going to church. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be soloing a, a, a Ziploc bag of ketamine. Kind of thing. Yeah. So you go to church? You go every Sunday? I do. I go every Sunday. Cool. Do you? Um, I do not. I'm Jewish, so uh, <laughs> my dad's a rabbi, so I grew uh, up with. Maybe, pretty... maybe never mind on the ketamine thing. <laughs> <laughs> maybe never mind on the ketamine thing. I read him wrong. I read him wrong. That's my bad. That was a bad read. Bad read by the Bart man. Happens. A pretty strong religious upbringing and whatnot. Yeah, okay. Really cool. bad read by the Bart man. Really cool. How about you? I was exposed to a lot of crazy things that maybe wouldn't be normal and like um, someone who might not have. Are you assuming? Dude, he's wearing hippie clothing. He has kind of an afro going on. He looks like Bob Ross. Is that really outlandish for me to think that he takes hallucinogenics? No.
He's Pentecostal. Oh, Pentecostal. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy things indeed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Extremely rare, Joel. Shut up! Like what? Like speaking in tongues and like exorcisms and just like um, different. He looks like the guy from Pineapple Express. S Seth Rogen. You think he looks like Seth Rogen? Maybe Pineapple Express Seth Rogen. But he has brown hair and he barely has an afro. Uh, Pineapple Express, great movie though. Great movie. Great movie. Great movie. Great movie. Underrated. Not really. Kind of overrated, actually. When I first heard of Pineapple Express, when I was like 12, I thought Pineapple Express was a movie about a train. It's a movie about a strain of weed that leads to a murder discovery. Let uh, <laughs> Detulio for the sub. Aiding like good and evil spirits. Well, and the I'm strain of weed is called Pineapple Express. Really grateful to have like been in that at such a young age. Totally. And have been able to. Yeah, I thought it was like Polar Express. I gotta rewind. I'm not paying attention to this fucking thing. Tongues and like exorcisms and just like um, differentiating exorcisms. like good and evil spirits. Well, and I'm. Really grateful to have like been in that at such a young age. Totally. And have been able to witness so much. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I like I'm really enjoying this conversation. Yeah. And it's just it's I think it's just not it. So, and remind me your name. Jasmine. Jasmine, Jasmine Jacob. Jasmine. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pleasure. It was nice meeting you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's so nice though. I love your hair. Thank you. Oh my Thank god. You. I appreciate it. I grew it myself. Um, wow. Yeah, it's just the right balance of like water, fertilizer, and soil, and it just... Oh my god, it's like this is one of those guys where you just want to be his friend. Where you just want to be his friend, bro. Like, you can't be mad at him. Bro, bro's a chia pet. It just springs out, you know. I love it, that's awesome. Yeah. Ask Jacob, what's the kinkiest thing he's ever done? Oh god. Ooh, yes, what would that be? I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm a, I've been pretty vanilla for my, most of my sexual oh, experiences. Vanilla. Yeah. Like how vanilla? Like I've been tied up before. That's not that vanilla. But like it was. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> so that I would say then. Okay. Um, I like nibbling. Nibbling. Yeah. Not like. But you, he's, you tell him. You tell him. Uh, oh wait, no. He says vanilla, and he goes fucking um tied up. I thought she was gonna go some weird shit. Yeah, I've, I've done some poop stuff before full-on bite but i do like nibbling on the neck area yeah um definitely a little bit of choking but not like to dead obviously you know you sure. live through it you know right that would be that'd be pretty intensely kinky <laughs> if it was to the death jeez uh, louise <laughs> oh he says jeez louise all right you gotta lose that lingo all right that's the one thing you gotta drop but you know since you since since you're such a cool guy i'll let it slide yeah i feel it <laughs> intimacy wise um that energy just wasn't there. Thank I you. love it. Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Was he not kinky enough for you? Not quite. No one. Dylan. Not kinky enough? Well, that was the that was the issue. Nice, nice to meet you. you. How are you? Very good. Good. What was the name of the book you read? What? The one about God? Where I listed like three books. Good and Evil, Friedrich Nietzsche, Plato's Republic, and uh God is Dead by Friedrich Nietzsche. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a Friedrich Nietzsche dick rider in the philosophy realm, um, which a lot of people hate. Uh, if you're a philosophy major like I am, you usually have, like, all the philosophy majors have a favorite philosopher. Mine is Nietzsche, and he's, like, a very pessimistic person. Shocker, right? But, yeah, no, he kind of, like, says everything sucks. Fun fact about Dylan. Oh. His name's Jesser. Dylan, nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. How are you? Very good. Wait, why are people saying Jesser? Who's Jesser? No one cares. Uh, yeah, I gotta share whatever the fuck I want to talk about because this is my stream, pal. Uh, I actually don't give two rats asses if you care or not. J C W Q C Y W Z. Who's Jesser? He looks like Jesser. I have no idea who that is. Good. Fun fact about Dylan. Oh. He loves guns. Ooh. Yeah. That's not a fun fact to know. Just to like put the record out there, not a Republican, not an NRA member. I okay. Just, yeah. 
But so you have a, a, what is it, a gun license or whatever that's called? You have so, to have? fun fact, you don't actually need a gun license in Washington State. Ah. He has to open his mouth more when he talks. Uh, so, fun fact, uh, you actually don't need to own a gun license in Washington State to own a gun. Uh, I am kind of a fan of guns. However, I am not a Republican, nor am I a member of NR the NRA. Open. Open the mouth. Enun pronunciate. Or enunciate. Is it enunciate? I don't know. Epic for the three bitties. If that girl had a shit kink, that would be perfect for two inch. Uh, fun fact, I don't... Pork for the five bitties. I used to think Pineapple Express was a restaurant. I don't like that. I'm Do you like shoot animals? Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, I'm a big history buff. I'm gone. See, like, would she actually be upset if he shot animals? You eat meat. You eat meat. You eat meat. I respect people that are willing to kill an animal and eat meat than people that are worried. If you eat meat and you fucking cringe when people say they kill animals, like, dude, you are so far separated from how life works. You fucking eat dead animals, right? That people murder. Right. Every day you're eating an animal that was fucking, they're either sl throat slit, they were electrocuted to death, they were shot in the fucking head, some shit like their head chopped off. You eat fucking animals that are murdered, right? Their sole purpose is to live and die for us to eat them. How sad is that, right? And you can, you can, con you can confront that, right? But you can't confront the fact that uh, somebody would kill an animal to eat it. You eat dead animals. From two from World War One. Unless yeah. they poach animals, that's different. But that's a crime, right? It's all service. But if somebody's like, I'm a deer hunter, like I've no, I, I've nothing against that. But if you're like, I go to Africa and kill elephants for their their tusks. Okay, well now you're now you're a terrible person. Thank you. How are you? Doing great. Good. How are I'm good. <laughs> Brittany. John. John, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I like your necklaces and your so you're into jewelry. You're into expression, it looks like. Yes. So I just like picking out unique things that I I have so much jewelry that I don't wear. Like I'll buy a ring or like a bracelet and then just not wear it. Cause I, I like it's so it's so it's so much of a hassle. And I'm only going to wear it on a special occasion. I'm not going to go to the fucking gym wearing fucking rings. Okay. Well, I can go from there. Yeah, I like Wear that. all of them now. No. So Brittany loves r and music. Show us. Do y'all actually want to see my rings? Oh, a bracelet I bought, titanium ring, another titanium ring, cool ring, another cool ring, ring made out of a Rolex spoon, it's not focusing, ring made out of a Rolex spoon. Another ring made out of a Rolex spoon. My old chain, the old cross that I used to wear, but I no longer wear because I'm not a Christian. And then whatever these thingies are. And that's all my jewelry. I said I had a lot of jewelry. I only have like six things. Yes, I do, but you... It's a wedding ring? It's not a wedding ring. How much did they cost? Which ring? You are correct. The titanium rings were like 100 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's your favorite song? The gold maybe? rings were obviously more. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like a new song. It's Jamie Foxx. Oh. Okay. Um, old school, like Bobby Valentino. Oh, all um, right. Aaliyah. What do you have you to be mean? a Christian to wear a cross? No. Uh, or I say no. A, lot, a crucifix, definitively. Uh, a cross is, I, I made an, I, I made a TikTok back when I used to wear the cross two years ago. Um, and I, I, I was agnostic, but I still believed in God. Right. 
Uh, and so I wanted to wear the cross as a sign of that. Uh, and I got a lot of hate from like thousands of Christians telling me to take it off. Um, and so I took it off. Uh, and I don't really want to wear it like ever again. That's why I bought this chain instead. I have a Cuban chain now. Um, it's because of TikTok. Yeah, I took it off because of that. Uh, I used to wear it because uh, I was agnostic for like a year and a half and I still wore the cross because I was a Christian then I was agnostic and I still wanted to wear the cross. I asked a priest about it. They were like, yeah, it's fine. Uh, and I still believed in it because it was a general sign of faith. But uh, a lot of people said that it was only for Christianity and I was disrespecting Christianity by wearing it when I was not wearing it in any ill intent. Uh, and they kind of like yelled at me to take it off. I even got like some threats, which I found astonishing, right? You're threatening me as a Christian to take the cross off. What a great way to spread the religion. But um, yeah, I took the cross off. Uh, I'm never wearing it again. Uh, RTS for the sun. Nothing against Christianity. I still think Christianity is a fine religion. Um, but I just took the cross off. Like, well, mostly r &B. People care too much. Yeah, no, a lot of people were like in the reverse too. I'm not saying everybody was like that, right? A lot of people told me it was fine that I wear it. Uh, like a lot of devout Christians told me it was fine that I wear it. But I mean, a lot of people did not like that I wore it. And so I took it off. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I have nothing. I genuinely, I have nothing against the religion. Like I have so many friends that are Christian. I, I like, I still have been to church like within the last two years. Like I, like I'll go, like I'll sit in the back, right? I'm not receiving communion, but like I respect Christianity a hell of a lot, right? Because it's what I grew up with, right? But like there's a lot of problems that I personally did not like uh, about the church that I was in uh, or the religion as a whole. I don't really believe in a lot of stuff. I've had atheistic beliefs. I'm not a Christian anymore, so I don't wear it. It's as simple as that. All right, can we move on? I don't really want to talk about that because uh, that was a whole fucking shebang argument that happened two years ago. It kind of pissed me off, but uh, yeah. I respect every religion. It's so I like and the fact that people are that adamant that they didn't want me to wear it. I took it off. Oh, are you? There's almost no limit to what I would try. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, I think there's probably limits that That's I can't I said, think almost? of. Almost it it depends. Not going into like yeah. pain and hitting. I definitely. mean, with the right person in the situation. Yeah, when you're in the moment. It yeah, is... it, it changes a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What about <laughs> Star Wars religion? That's not a fucking religion, dude. Star Wars. Are you two attracted to each other? Oh, yeah. yeah, she's very pretty. Oh, thank you. You're pretty, too. Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, I like your smile. That oh, was the first thing I noticed. Was, was, you make a lot of eye contact. So I do? Oh, God. It you shows know, confidence. Oh, um, I like your eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. And I like your smile too. And you like your jawline when you smile. Like it's it's nice. <laughs> it's take, like I'd muscular. Oh, really? But in a that sounds weird cuz it's your face. But <laughs> 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 like you are just I hate this conversation so to. much. Thank They're getting too intimate too quick. But I do like like your energy, like your Thank you. aura, as you said. Aura. But yeah, but you're fun. Oh my God, they like each other's aura. An all expenses, an all expenses paid date to Arby's. <gasps> they show the date now. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> all right, you two matched. Yes, yep. we did. Kind of. What was the moment you knew? I'm not pushing the button. It was just easy to talk to. You. For, for me, it was just. Really? Yes, you are funny. Oh, I like you. that. I appreciate and then just some of the some of the things you said that you're attracted to, like we're writing with mine, especially the order you listed them. Oh, okay. So that was that was sweet. And then you just smile. That was that's a big thing too. Hell yeah, well Next video. What new army cadets go through during the first six weeks at West Point? Boot camp. Boot camp. Trent for the sub, Joseph for the sub, TJ for the three Jimmy's. That's not uh, fair. What the fuck? Happy and jealous for bro. RT for the sub. This is one of the most intense exercises at West Point's basic training. New cadets must rappel down a 25 foot cliff face. Lean back. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Then oh my God, buddy's about to drop him. A 75 foot wall. See what's coming up? Oh, hell. Jump. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, that was not that big of a jump. The United States Military Academy in West Point, New York, is the number one military academy in the U.S. Dude, I have like three kids in my class in high school that went to West Point.
where 120,000 of the nation's top students and soldiers apply each year. I feel like that shit's gotta change you so much. Going to West Point. Only 10% get in. And new cadet Jabril Williams is one of them. I'm excited. I'm gonna attack it with as much enthusiasm Bro, and intensity. He is jacked. That man is fucking beefed up. Look at his traps. As as I can. But before the start of school, Williams and his fellow cadets must complete the six week basic training program. The beginning of the. I have. I have said for a YouTube video, right? Because I would need to make money off of this, but uh, I would get tear gas. You know, I would I would step into the I've every every military training video we've ever seen. There's a moment where they have to step into a room and like rip their fucking mask off. I would get tear gas. I just want to see what it would be like. Like, how painful do you think it is? It's like breathing. Because they, like, they'll walk out and there's, like, snot dripping down their face and they're fucking coughing and shit. Very painful. On a scale of 1 to 10. They don't take their masks off. They break the seal. Same thing. They breathe in the air. 47-month journey that creates the next generation of leaders for the U.S. Army. Cadet. See, like, see, some of this shit's fucking crazy. Like, just the amount of different fucking body builds they come in. Hold on. Like, that guy's big. This kid's pretty small. Like, I feel like he's just gonna perform better physically than this kid. Like, he's gonna have a rough time. He's gonna have to build muscle. Cadet Basic Training, or CBT, begins immediately after our day. Our day, or reception day, is the day when students first report to West Point and get assigned to the company they'll train in. Attention! The class is divided into nine companies, each competing to earn the most points and be awarded the title of best company at the end of base. God, that's kind of fucking sick, though. It's like a game. It's like a fucking game. Nine companies, they get to compete against each other for the best? Oh, nah. Then you got that one motherfucker on your team that's just like lagging behind and shit. Uh, and then he fucks you over and he makes you do like more exercises because he's fucking up. I feel like that'd be me. No lie. It's Hogwarts. It's not fucking Hogwarts. I think in all honesty, I think being at West Point is a bit harder than being a fucking Hufflepuff. And be awarded the title of then best going to your potions class. Would you rather get tear gassed and have to run 25 miles or ride a broom and go to your fucking potions and, and botany class? Company at the end of basic training. Congratulations! Leviosa! Leviosa! Somebody redeemed flex? You can it. Isn't there... Isn't this where white boy Carl wanted to go? What do you mean, white boy Carl? You are now a part of Falcon Company, the best company in cadet basic training regiment. During CBT, upperclassmen serve as the leaders, or cadre. I don't want to see, like, you don't want to see the form of The most important thing we do at West Point is- Oh, he's probably the chill, he's probably the chill upperclassman. Yo, that would be so fucked if you got that one that's, like, agitated because the other upperclassmen bullied him when he got in. And so now he bullies everybody else. Then you got this guy. He's like, they don't want you don't want to see your palm. He's just nice. The most important thing we do at West Point is you don't know who White Boy Carl is. Who the fuck is White Boy Carl, bro? White Boy Carl. Oh, Carl Gallagher from the show. Oh my God! I thought you were talking about an actual fucking person, bro. You're talking about this dude. Yeah, from Shameless. I thought you were talking about an actual person. I didn't know his name, but yeah, I know who that is. Teach leadership, followership, and instill he the- sells guns in bathrooms. I watched that clip. Warrior ethos. Because when they graduate here, they're going to go lead America's sons and daughters. After our day, cadets begin their training by learning the basics. Yo, last flex. I'm not doing any more for today. Merc for the sub. Jordan for the sub. Kachru for the fringe videos to gain the confidence they need before moving on to more advanced skills. Hey, 
Make sure you put it on safe and take your finger off the trigger next time, all right? The first thing they do is they go and they learn how to qualify on a, a M4 carving. So they go out and do marksmanship training. Every soldier in basic training is qualified on a rifle. Most of them have never picked up a weapon in their life. Most of them have never picked up a weapon. You're at fucking West Point. You've never held... I mean, well, to be fair, like if you live in a state where there's, you're not in Texas, where are you going to be holding guns? So there's 40 rounds. There's different targets set at different distances out uh, in each lane on the range, and they'll pop up in different uh, combinations. So they shoot from five different positions, and we do a lot of practice leading up to it, but this is when they all put it together and put it to the test. To become qualified in basic rifle marksmanship, cadets must score a minimum of 23 out of 40 possible points. It is always weird, though, how they kind of like... Like, that kid was smiling, talking about it, but they're, like, learning how to kill people. Like, like that's the training. Like, you're learning how to kill someone, like, with a gun. Like, that, it's, tra it's training, yeah, and he's, like, happy and smiling about it. That's normal? Yeah, I know, because it's the army, but I'm saying, like, like, I feel like we kind of just glaze over the fact that, like, they're learning this so they could shoot somebody in the head. Points. Each dummy can- I mean, yeah, you're in the army. You kind of got to fucking know that. But I, like, like say it how it is. Right. Tains a set. I got to shoot the targets that are shaped like people. You got to learn how to kill somebody, right? I, I, if I'm the kid that's interviewing, I'd say, yeah, they're learning how to blow a dude's head off. Answer that when hit- I'm not mad about it. Like, dude, it's army training. I ain't going to sit here and bitch, oh, they shouldn't be able to hold guns. But, like, like this isn't a fucking gun issue where, like, you have an AR-15 at your house. I'm not talking about that, right? You're in the army. Obviously, you need to know how to use a gun. But, like, just say it how it is. Sends a signal up to the control tower, adding a point to the cadet's score. Lane? 11. 31. Go. So if they don't pass, they're going to stay until they do. So every company before us has had everybody qual that is able to qual before they leave for the day. I actually went out on lane one, which isn't a great range because uh, a couple of the targets are actually like sitting in the shadows. But I still managed to qualify with a 27, 28, my highest. No, I think I'd score a 45. No, I'm not trying to be that guy, but you know, I'd, I'd, I think I'd score a little bit higher. No, I've shot a gun before. Hold on, let me shot. No, I've shot a gun before. Not to be that guy, but, uh, you know, I've showed this video about a thousand times. I've shot a, I've shot a pistol. I've shot a gun. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't even know where the fucking video is. Where is it? Here it is. No, I've shot a gun. Oh yeah. my God. Uh, ignore, ignore me saying, oh, my God. That's me. Uh, that, ignore me. Ignore me saying, oh, my God. That's me shooting a, a, a pistol that's strong enough to kill a bear. Yeah, we're gonna mute the audio there. That's uh, you know, it's pretty. You got, you know, you gotta have, you gotta have the upper body strength to be able to hold that weapon. Oh my god! Today, cadets are taking their land navigation test. A little up, but that's okay. They have three hours to find a minimum of three out of five hidden points. We are given a map with different points. You will find what's called an attack point. Attack points are a point on the map that you know, hey, I am here. So it's like, From where's Waldo? I'd fail this. I'd fail this. No doubt I'd fail that. There, you'll take out your compass and you'll shoot a azimuth. Somebody redeem scream, refund it. Uh, I'm not doing scream, I'm losing my voice. And from 180 degrees, I know my point is 180 meters. So I'll walk out 180 meters and then boom, find my point. Each cadet receives unique coordinates and sets out to complete the test alone. Good luck. Don't lose your scorecard. Each attack point is represented by an orange flag. When cadets find it, they must mark their scorecard using the attached hole puncher. If oh, so that's how you know if they find it. Able to find enough points in the allotted time, they fail the test and must return later to attempt the course again. Only two so far. I mean, right, look at in addition to winning points for their company, ambitious. I'm gonna just follow someone. Like, are that like I'm a I'm a just I'm a just slide some dude a five. Yo, let me, let me piggyback off your fucking shit, pal. If I had to do this, right? Because I'm never joining fucking West Point. I, you know, I don't even think I would get in. But 
if I was required to find these things, I'm going to just fucking get some dude to get me the fucking little stamps. New cadets aim to beat records set by past Are West Point. Are you coordinates? Oh, fuck no. Students, after only an hour and 31 minutes, a cadet has returned with all five points found correctly. Not bad. Only nine minutes away from breaking the school record. A big win for the ongoing best company competition. Having spent a couple weeks learning basic military skills, new cadets are now ready to learn advanced skills that will test their confidence. I am an American soldier! <laughs> Around the halfway mark of CBT. Yeah, around the halfway mark of CBT. They enter something we call the hell hole. Every time they got a new name for it. I, because, like, this, this video I have not seen. But about a year ago, we watched, like, four different Army training videos in a fucking row. From, like, the Navy, from the Army, from, like, the fucking Coast Guard. And all of them have, like, a new name for like a way of getting fucking tear gas. Getting slawed? Oh my god, no way. I that was a lost memory you just brought back to my fucking head. In back in the in the good old Coast Guard, we have something called getting slawed. These buddies get fucking get their shit kicked in. You ever tell you ever think you've gone through it? You never got you never been slawed before. This is about to be like your fucking grandpappy just slap you in the ass with a fucking leather belt. But that leather belt had nails on it. And those nails were heated up to nine hundred fucking fifty degrees. You're getting slawed, buddy. Somebody redeemed ramp. Are you fucking kidding me? Did somebody actually redeem ramp? Mods? 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 Mods, did somebody redeem the ramp? Mods? Or are you guys just saying ramp? There's no mods here. There's mods here. Alex, Phil, Float, Manifest, and Stonky are here. Mods! Winner for the 300 videos. Go sign up for the military. Yeah, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Mods, 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 mods. Any mods here? Any mods here? Any mods here? Any mods here? Uh, well, we got to wait for a mod to see if somebody redeemed ramp. E, new cadets get to experience the There's no one. Yo, I might as well fucking mod Nimble soon, dude. I swear to fucking God. Uh, new cadets my mods, get my mods to just sit in my stream AFK, bro. It's so fucking annoying. Like, I, because I can't tell if they're here or not. Like, I can't tell if anybody's fucking here because they're just AFK. Uh, and then, and then Stonky said, huh? Look at Stonky. See, after like five minutes of me saying my, huh? What? Huh? He's confused. It's like an old man. Huh? Huh? It shouldn't be redeemable. Okay, nobody redeemed it, Ren. I'm not doing ramp. Nobody redeemed it. Yeah, Ston Ston Stonky's in there. Huh? Should I mod Nimble? Is Nimble a good mod candidate? Candidate? I mean, I got Verbigs Verbig Spoon and TB Doom. Well, TB Doom just became VIP. But Verbig Spoon and Nimble, if they wanted to be a mod. David for the 300 bitties. How many bar pucks for you to get tear gassed? Yeah, I'm not doing that. TJ for the 300 bitties. I'm here only on weekends. Winner for the 300 bitties. I'll ask my other mods. I'll see if I'll, I'll ask. I'll, I'll literally go send a message in the mod chat right now. Hold up. All right. Winner watcher, thank you for the 25 gifteds. I'll ask. I just asked the mod group chat because they know more about my chatters than me. Uh, and so if Nimble or Verbigspin are good for mod, I'll mod one of them. Uh, Verbi uh, winner for the 25 gifteds. Might not be it all tomorrow, though. Winner watcher, thank you for the 25 gifted subs. 
Dubbing the chat for that. Appreciate the subs, bro. Fucking massive dub. Winner watcher, thank you for the gifteds, dude. Thank them if you got a sub and thank you for the 25 gifted subs. F Mango for the subs. CRZ for the five hundred fifty. What is ramp? It's when you like a high knee and just say ramp. It's a thing they do in the Coast Guard. Winner for the three hundred fifty. Do the ramp. Nope. Uh, thank you for the 25 gifteds, winner watcher. The gas chamber, also known as the House of Tears. Right I understand you gave me 25 subs to do the ramp, but the whole point of the channel points is that it's for the channel points. Uh, so it's a thing that active chatters can get without sending money, right? So I don't want you to be able to send money to do ramp, right? Because uh, then it kind of gets rid of the whole point of channel points. I appreciate the 25 subs, but that's a channel point redemption. Load for the food, but he's getting tear gas is enough to get my ass puckered. Yeah, this shit'll make your when yeah, the how yeah, see they got their own name for it. The House of Tears got an old good old West Point, New York. This shit'll make your ass pucker like you just ate a fucking lemon. You ever had a toxic toxic waste before? Your ass about to be puckering like that shit. House of Tears, buddy. Now we are at the House of Tears. We got this. We got this. Hey, this is too easy, y'all. Everyone here is nervous whether they admit it or not to go in that gas chamber. And I think that part of this whole experience throughout this, these six weeks is like over. Joe, look at Mod Lounge. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I want to watch the video. Oh my God. No, my God. Uh, Nimble, they said pass on you, brother. Sorry. Uh, Nimble, Nimble, you're getting a hard pass by the mods for Mod. Yeah, I know they would. <laughs> They got beef with me. Uh, they said for Big Spoon, yes, maybe. I just need my mods. I just need my mods to make. Okay. Okay. So, yes, for Big. And no, Nimble. Can someone make an unactive mod list for me to unmod? All right, I got to go back to stream. Let's go. Make me mod? Yeah, let me make sped ball mod. You've been in my chat for all of fucking six days. You have nine chats. You have nine chats, dude. Overcoming your fears and your anxiety for things that are dangerous. The House of Tears is designed to instill confidence in the new cadets, but also to teach them how to properly wear mop gear. So you, you don it, you put the mask uh, over the back of your head, you breathe the bad air out, you suck good air in, uh, it suctions to your face. All right, suck in, suck in again. You're good to go. With masks secure, the first platoon yeah, they're entering into the fucking enters the chamber. House of go, Tears. Go, go, go! These little boys are gonna be men by the time they step out of this fucking hellhole. When they open the door, just hit him with a shaka, bruh. Or uh, we file in about 20 of us at a time. You stand along the walls. A little bit of an intensive. So everybody asking for mod, I'm not modding any of you. If you ask for mod, I'm not modding you. Bob for the sub. It's a general rule of thumb. If you bitch for mod, you never get it. PP Popo for the sub. Environment a little bit sketchy and scary. You do some jumping jacks. <laughs> I mod who I want to mod. Asking will not make you mod. Check the mask. Like, How do you get mod? You usually have to be a VIP first. It's like a tiered system. You have to be a good chatter and then you get mod. Some people jump it, but for the most part, you're usually a VIP before you're a mod. You lift the mask up for about 10 seconds and then you put it back down to seal it. And then after that, of course, you take it off and uh, do the soldier screen. Oh, well, how do you get VIP? Well, being active in chat. My chatters have to know you. I have to know you. Not know you, know you, but know your, know your, like, fucking username. Know your username, know who you are. They have to like you. Delmezi said mod me. No. Delmezi is eligible for VIP at some point because you've been here for, like, two years. But you're not a mod, no. But you kind of go up and up. My mods will recommend me people to VIP. That's usually how it works. And then they get mod after that. But, like, some people will get VIP and then be a shitty VIP and just kind of stay in the VIP realm. Uh, I'm not saying Nimble's a shitty VIP, but Nimble's one of those people that got VIP and now he's just kind of VIP, right? Like, he's a good chatter. He's a chatter. But, like, 
he's not he said i'm happy with it no cap yeah so he can't be that's why you go through that that system the soldier's dream i'm, I'm an american, american soldier. soldier i'm a warrior <laughs> member of a team that kind of that guy kind of looks like me it's spicy you feel the spice on your skin you feel it on your hands your it's neck your spicy. face you get about uh three or four words in and you just start uh, choking and coughing the cs gas used during training is composed of tiny particles that float through the air and land on human skin irritating areas of moisture more specifically mucous membranes in the eyes nose mouth and lungs <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm vomiting. I already know I'm going to be, yep, we got a, we got a squirter. That's going to be me. I'm going to be fucking puking everywhere. I don't know why I said squirter. Um, nevertheless, I'm going to be throwing up. <laughs> Winner watcher, thank you for the 25 gifted subs. Uh, dub in the chat, thank you for the fucking 50 gifted total this stream. I have no idea how many subs you've gifted the channel total. How many do, it doesn't even say. 188 subs total to the channel from Winter Watcher. Christian for the five gifted subs. Thank you for the fucking subs, Christian and Winter Watcher. Winter Watcher for the 25 gifted. Christian for the five gifted. Thank them if you got a sub and thank both of you for the fucking gifted. Christian for the five and Winter for the 25. Ah. David for the uh, three inch of eddies. First time here in the past two weeks. After a few seconds, it kind of goes away and uh, it becomes a lot better and you kind of can laugh I haven't about seen Cruz in a while. Yeah, he took a break, but he's back now. Got it. I think he's in my chat right now. Ooh, ah, I wanna hurt somebody. Ooh, ah, I wanna kill somebody. Ah! What? This week we've been working on individual movement techniques as well as medical lanes. During the medical lane training event, what? cadets ruck through a forest and are then ambushed by enemy forces played by non-commissioned officers. One squad will be performing security on the frontal side, and the Bravo team squad will be rendering aid. I feel like no matter how much training you have, though, like going through what it would be like versus actually being bombarded by bombs and bullets, they're so different, right? You going through some fucking scenario where like you're feeling what it like what it what it's like to be bombed like it's not the feet you know you're safe right but like actually fearing your life and like being struck in by bombs and bullets that's like fucking terrifying and the Bravo team squad will be rendering aid and half of them will be pulling rear securities. My role was a team leader in the Alpha team. I'm the first person who is reacting to the contact. Let's Shortly after the squad is ambushed, a casualty has been announced that requires medical aid. Ryan! Go to the casualty! Go! See, it's not gonna be like that, though, right? Ryan, go to the casualty! Go! Bitch, you're in war? One of your friends just got shot? Ryan's fucking down! Go get him! You're gonna be fucking freaking the fuck out. Ryan! Where's the casualty? Uh, casually, Ryan, casually, like, bro. Oh, no! You're bleeding out for two and a half. Get that, get that tighter, get that tighter. That is not an effective tourniquet. Provide cover. While cadets applied the tourniquet. Yeah, and, and, and applying a tourniquet to a mannequin versus one of your friends that's actually bleeding out. To the dummy casualty, one cadet was hit like, by it's enemy. It's impossible to train for that other than just being in it. Fire. Boom! Go. You are now blind and got a broken arm. Start screaming. Ah! 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 It's okay. It's okay. Ah, my arm. Arm's my broken. arm. Ah! Ah! Blood spurting for the injury. Ah! 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 Hey, hurry up, cadets. I need to leave now. Moving. 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 We're moving. Moving. We got this, man. This is really the best training Once they can do for it. Once casualties are relocated to a safe enough. location, cadets radio in for helicopter rescue. Dust off, this is Pitbull. I have a medevac request. Over. Pitbull, this is Dust off. Proceed. Line one, Whiskey Lima, eight five seven nine eight six two four. Pitbull, that's a good copy. Medevac on route. Over. Instructors simulate helicopter sounds and play the role of a medevac crew. What are his injuries? Off. 
What was going through your head when you heard those first 10 shots? Uh, definitely nerve wracking. Um, it's pretty exciting, honestly. But um, I was just like, oh, shoot. Like oh, Nerve wracking in training? Dude, think about when you're actually about to get fucking killed. Yeah, like, we're about to begin. It was pretty fun, sir. Fun? Oh, man. That was hectic. I got thrown right into that. Don't be scared. As cadets continue to gain confidence in their skills, they are brought to the mountaineering and rappelling course. Way three on rappel! Where they learn to safely make their way down natural cliff faces in the New York mountains. Today we learned how to set up our belts, how to cinch them, how to use our brake hand and get our feet set, overcome some fear. Why do they have to learn this so much? Like, is there a lot of scenarios where they're going to be, like, repelling from areas in the military? Like, they, I feel like every training video I've ever seen, they always do this. But why? If I mess up, like, the first time. It's probably just something in case you need it. This drop is a little bit deeper. Land three on rappel! This time I had a wider base. I noticed that was what kind of messed me up on the 25 foot Special one. forces? I mean, yeah, and these people are at West Point. See what's coming up? Oh, hell. You got to give yourself a well, Don't the people at West Point usually become like the head officers? They're usually not the people. I don't know for sure, so correct me if I'm wrong. But I always assume the people at West Point, since they're so valuable, they'd never be on the front lines. Like if you're uh, if you're in if you're enrolling into the army, you're front lines, right? But like if you're West Point, you're ten percent acceptance graduate. You've learned all of this shit. You're gonna be like one of the leaders. You're not gonna be the dude in the front getting murdered. I don't know, but like I I would assume like if they're putting this much money and effort and it's so hard to get to this level, like you're not a Navy SEAL, like you're gonna be one of the commanding people. Like, you're not going to be the people that are getting murked, right? Because you're going through so much training. Little leap, and then you got to shoot your arm out and give yourself some slack to clear that gap. Gotcha. Otherwise, you're Squad leaders are with their infantry. Okay, true. Slam your hands into the wall. Gotcha. All right. Jump. Hell yeah. <laughs> Once cadets make it down the 75-foot wall, they move to the mountaineering course and use their hands and feet to climb up the cliff face. That's the thing I didn't look They down. become leaders of squads where they have to train other non-trained people. Oh, I didn't look I down until I was halfway through. The only thing that was going through my head really was, man, all these people are watching. It would be a shame if I fell. So, <laughs> Once cadets reach the top of the mountaineering lane, they're instructed to let go and walk backwards down the cliff. Lean back. Trusting that their battle buddy and their equipment will keep them safe. This gives us knowledge on being a well-rounded battle soldier. buddy. Yeah, and then that dumbass lets go of me and I fall to my death. You're not always going to have to go to a mission or have a mission where you're going to need to repel, but it's just good background knowledge to have. As the end of summer nears, new cadets are ready to put their skills to the test in an event called the Crucible. They actually the Crucible in here is the penultimate team building event. This is the last chance for each company to earn points and come out on top as the best company. All of your warrior skills, your individual tasks, they're all kind of put to the test. Platoons have two hours to map out eight different stations given as coordinates, correctly locate them, and then complete the tasks to get as many points as possible. When you get to the point, you have to execute some type of physical movement. Help, help. The first event is a race. I would love to be the guy that's just getting dragged. Then you don't even need to run. You just got to fucking lay down. I'll, I'll, I'll volunteer to be that guy. Where cadets must securely strap a cadre to a skid and race around a set of cones. Following the skid race, one volunteer has to correctly put on an entire set of mop gear. You have to John clear and seal the mask in nine seconds and correctly assume mop level four. Ready, set. Come on, come on, come on. Is West Point one of the only places that combines men and women into training? Got it, Andrew. 
Yeah, do your wrist. Hey, let them do it. Let them do it. Yeah. Stop that. Yeah. 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 Next, the platoons must find a new location where they must move a partner on their back 50 yards using either a fireman's carry or a piggyback. We also practice the employment of hand grenades. Obviously well, not. You have some heavy ass motherfucker you got to fucking pick up. You got your friend got somebody that's 150 pounds. I got the fucking big bulky Larry that's fucking 330 on my back. Actual hand grenades, but with the hollow shells and making sure we can employ those properly, which for us is landing within five meters of targets at 30 meters distance, which is the proper range for the employment of a hand grenade. I think we did really good overall. We came in at the very last minute, which means we were pushing all the way to the very end. The guy that was there told me that, that we were the first platoon that had as many points as we did at that point. That many in one group? No, it's parent. Like, and then they graduate. And challenge. The academic year. You persevere How and get that. Even see your kid. They're all, they, everybody's fucking head shaven wearing the same outfit. All right. That was a W vid, though. Elijah for the sub. Thank you for the, or for the five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted. I actually have to skip this video. I have to go, chat. Uh, so we'll watch this on another day for scary vids. But. Uh, that was a W stream. I know it's kind of a shorter stream today, but I do have to skedaddle. Uh, but I hope you all had fun watching. W stream in the chat. Elijah, thank you for the five gifteds. All go for the sub. Elijah for the sub. Heron for the sub. Reddit for the 1500 biddies. When are you getting a haircut? I did. When are you playing VR when I'm back from break? Uh, after the 19th to the 24th. Ricky for the 1100 biddies. CM attack. The CMA attack. I get so confused when people say Cruz is here because that's my name for the 300 biddies. David for the 300 biddies. All right. W stream. Uh, explain for my Discord. Join the Discord. Send videos for me to react to, games for me to play in the video uh, suggestion tab, in the game suggestion tab. Uh, I have a video suggestion tab for react days and a game suggestion tab for gaming days. The seventh forwarder for is asking for a refund for what? Uh, ask my mods. I don't know what you. Re I don't know what you sent in. Uh, join the Discord. Send videos for me to react to, games for me to uh, play in the video suggestion tab, game a suggestion tab. Uh, whether it be, uh, react videos, scary videos, whatever you want me to watch for react days, something that would be good on stream. Uh, you could just use the videos I watch as a fucking inspiration, obviously, for what I would like and what I wouldn't. Um, but yeah, even if I don't watch the video, it obviously just helps because you can send videos that you want me to watch and I might watch them. Uh, for gaming days, the same thing, send videos you want me to play or games you want me to play, whether it be VR, regular, scary games, sim games, shit like that. Uh, I will be live tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST. It will be the start of our summer stream schedule tomorrow chat. Uh, I will be live at 2 p.m. EST on weekdays and weekends until the end of the summer, uh, either end of August or like September 3rd or some shit. Um, but yeah, during the week, uh, weekdays during the school year, most of the year, I'm live at 4.30 on weekdays and 2 on weekends. In the summer, I will be live at 2 every day. Uh, starting tomorrow. I'll be live tomorrow, Monday, at 2, playing FNAF 4 and Night of Consumers. Uh, I'll do FNAF Help Wanted when I get back from my break, when my VR is set up. Tuesday, I will be playing Ready or Not. Wednesday will be either Outlast with Max and Zussi, or, uh, I don't know, we'll play some other shit, because I don't really want to finish Bum Sim. So I'll probably ask you guys tomorrow what you guys want me to play Wednesday. Because uh, Bum Sim was fun, but it wasn't that amazing. Uh, we might do Coin Game Wednesday or some of the, uh, some other Sim game. Uh, Thursday will be unbans, uh, a big unbanned stream, and then Fall Guys or Val, uh, or Fortnite. Friday reacts, uh, Saturday probably the Pass Within with Zussi, maybe Outlast Trials with him as well, uh, if I don't do it Wednesday. Uh, and then Sunday will be reacts, uh, and then I'll be gone the 19th to the 24th. Uh, and then I'll be back the 25th to the 1st, it'll be one whole week. Uh, I'll be doing VR, we'll be packing in reactions, VR, scary games, sim games, a bunch of fun shit. Uh, and then I'll be gone the 2nd to the 7th, which is another six-day break. I'll be back the 8th, probably a short stream. Uh, and then I'll be back the rest of the summer, uh, starting the 8th of July. But yeah, hope you all had fun watching the stream. I'll catch you all tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST. Who do you all want to raid? I am uploading on YouTube today, uh, but I will be uploading uh, probably in like two hours or so. Uploading on TikTok as well. Uh, and yeah. Who do you all want to raid? Mr. Chan Chan? We could raid Gutsy Aiden. Let's raid Gutsy Aiden, bro. I love Aiden. Uh, at for the 21-month sub. Thank you for the sub.
Uh, we're going to raid Aiden here. Hope you all had fun watching the stream once again. We had a great chat, great audience today. A lot of people on stream. Uh, and I will catch you all later. We are going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.